What's happening, everybody? Welcome, welcome in, welcome in. Welcome in, everyone. All right, let's get out of here. I figured we'd do this cool little portal scene that I've been thinking about. And uh, I always love, whenever I can't think of anything to paint, we'll go with a, you can always do something in a portal. You know what I mean? Always knock something out. So what I'm doing, kind of like our Aurora Borealis here, leaving little chunks of extra paint, and that way they'll streak out differently as they come out and away from our Aurora, leaving a very dark circle around the inside, right? Very cool. So you guys can tell me where you're watching from. What's your favorite last meal on earth? What's your favorite fast food place, right? I'm sure they would love it if you tagged them in the comments. What's your favorite fast food joint? Bingo, cool little portal scene. Very neat, let's go around the edge, just soften it up just a little bit. Very soft. No paint on the brush, very dry brush. Right? That way you get this cool little thing. Oh, fantastic. So, tell me where you guys are watching from. What's your favorite sandwich, of course, or your favorite fast food place? I, don't, I mean, it depends on the day. It could be Taco Bell, it could be McDonald's for me. You never know, you guys like my unicorn horn, by the way? <laughs> you never get that thing to stay in there, I don't know why. No idea why it doesn't want to stay in my head. So I figured we'd do this really cool little scene today. I've been sort of working on pirate ships and doing portals and seascapes and caves and different stuff. So I figure maybe we'll come in and sort of mix all of those guys together into this cool little scene out here. And it should be very neat. And what I've done is taken my entire canvas and covered it in the Bob Ross Liquid Clear. Right, it looks just like this. Bob Ross Liquid Clear. Excellent stuff, this stuff, right? Gotta have it. If you don't have that, you can use linseed oil as a replacement, but we use the clear, and then we put the two blue colors all over the canvas, everywhere, right? And that way, when we touch it with some white paint, it's gonna interact and spread and go all over the place. Depends on our pressure, right? How hard we're pushing it. How hard do you wanna push that sucker? Depends on how far it's gonna grow, let me tell you that. Let me tell you that. Oh, let's come in here. I'm gonna get a little bit of the white paint onto our filbert brush. Looks just like this. Just on the front, on the back, just on the front side. All right, we'll come up into our brightest spot, that little aura right there. And we'll push and then we'll spin the brush in a circle. And if you can stay in that little center of a circle right there, you'll have this gorgeous little <laughs> puff of a white moon out there. Super cool. Super, super cool. So thank you guys for tuning in and watching. My name's Paint with Josh. Hi, nice to see you. Uh, thank you for tuning into my show. I do this every night, except Wednesday. Well, we're gonna start doing Tuesdays too. So Tuesday and Wednesday off. Every other night of the week, I'm up here for you. Just sitting here showing you how to paint some cool stuff. Now, the difference between me and some other painter is I'm actually telling you how to do exactly what I'm doing and recreate the exact same thing. I have over 1,000 videos on YouTube. So head over there when you get bored and uh, check them out. We're gonna come up into here. You know what, maybe let's put our clouds up this way. Pop in a couple bits over there. Maybe we'll come down. Maybe we'll have this whole other section over here. And you can see I'm not trying to make the all of the clouds the same color. You gotta leave some room to blend, right? If we blend it down and we let it work its way nice and softly, you'll start noticing all these light areas and dark areas and different places where you can have these really cool little details. See how it's very bright up here? Very dark as it works its way down further and further and further. Maybe we take this guy, work him up a little bit. Bring him down over here, right? The more that we pull on it, the longer the color is going to stretch down. So it's totally up to us what we wanna do, right? Just like that. Very cool, bring it to the edge. Don't touch the side though. Come up to this guy up here, we'll start to work him down. Little light areas, little dark areas, little places where they might connect. Maybe they want to touch. Ooh, guys, that one looks really cool. I like that. Maybe we take this guy, we work him a little bit further this way. Just with that little extra pressure, pushing him, right? Blending it out a little bit more. Whatever we want to do back there is totally up to us. You can have your clouds do anything you want. Literally anything you want to do back there. There is not always background music. Uh, sometimes we do. I've been doing it a couple times where I put some background music out there. And if you ever see me leave the screen, it's because I'm coming back to read you guys' comments. 
Uh, but sometimes we do the background music, and it's just a little soft Peruvian flute music is all it is. Just a little bit of ambiance. And it always ends up really, uh, being really nice. So, let's see. What do we do off in the distance? Right, we're going to have a little waterfall come out, maybe from way back here. Start having this little waterfall action, and it'll come out to the edge, and it'll fall over into our scene. It'll be very cool. But we got to decide what we're going to do around the around the thing. We could do a seascape, too. We do lots of stuff. We're going to do an ocean scene down here. So let's do something totally different. That actually almost looks like a sidewalk, doesn't it? Man, if that doesn't look like a sidewalk to me. That really looks like a sidewalk. The more we push it over, especially since we're only using the blue. Watch this. So we can mix this part up right there. Act like that bit of waterfall never existed. Or go back and put it in later. All up to us what we want to do. That looks like a spooky sidewalk. But maybe there's a bit of street out here. Ooh, guys. Or maybe it's a river. We do whatever we want to do, right? Is the music level okay? You guys want me to turn it down? I can turn it up a little bit. We can turn it off. All up to you guys. All up to you. Magic and practice, says the crappy candles. They must be answering... Do you ever do still life? No, not really. Not really, but does someone ask how I do these things with magic and practice? That's very true. It's very much how it gets done. And I guess the last time we played this music, the crappy candles fell asleep during the show. So if you guys start feeling tired, grab your pillows. Just make sure you're leaving the show on, right? And I'll try not to wake you up throughout the whole thing, okay? Just like that. It'll be nice and quiet. What should we do out here? Give me a, give me a suggestion, guys. What should we do out here? What should we do? Oh, what brushes do I use? Well, I use the uh, Bob Ross brushes mostly. You can see there. Bob Ross one inch landscape brush. The two inch brush is vital. It's your show, very true. Don't call you out like that. No, I'm just saying, everybody falls asleep to this soft music sometimes. We're definitely going to do a ghost ship at the bottom, right? Here's my idea we're going to have a bunch of clouds, then our ocean scene with our big crashing wave, and off here we're going to be doing like a ghostly ship. But what do we put up in the top? Do we do like a. We could do like a graveyard up there? Shoot, when am I coming out with my own brushes? I actually, I'm getting a set of Bram's brushes ordered. Uh, well, he's sending them to me so I can do the influencer thing and try them out. But yeah, we're going to be doing a ghost ship tonight. We could do a spooky mountain up there. Maybe put some trees off to the side. It really looks like a freaking sidewalk to me, but... <laughs> an old shack up inside the... Uh... That's a good idea, actually. We'll do an old shack up inside the cabin. Uh, up inside the uh, portal with a little river running next to him, right? So we'll turn this guy, and we'll come out here, brighten it up, come over. Right? Maybe it comes back, even. Come down here. Just back and forth, side to side, right? And then we get to a spot where eventually it is going to roll out and fall down if we're going to have our little river back here. be very cool. Now we're going to spread this guy out. We'll just put a little bit of paint, and we're going to spread it out. Spread it out, spread it out, spread it out. Right, not every piece has to be the same thickness or anything like that. You get your cool little river right there. And if we hadn't have done that before and it would have stayed nice and dark, then we would have would actually looked pretty cool. So what we're going to do now is let's pop in a little bit of grass. If we're going to put a cabin up in there, you're going to have to take a little bit of white paint. And let's say way off in the distance, we're just going to touch it so lightly. And then back and forth like a typewriter, right? Down to the water's edge. That way we got a little bit of land back here that our cabin can sit on, right? So we have to work it out. So those little differences between the water and the stuff. We'll put a big old bush over here. Let's do that right now. You guys got to let me know, though, what three colors, or four in this case, since we're using both the blue colors, what three colors do we mix up in order to make our deep, dark shadow mixture right here? Let me know in the comments, and we'll get your comments pinned. Where's my knife? Aha, found it. Use a spatula palette knife deal. Blue, black, and crimson says just G. Just G. Well, we got Sally Spillman. Thank you, Phoenix. I appreciate that. Uh, Tiffany Wallach. Doug Cormier. And we got the crappy candles, of course. Iris Siren. Lots of people know the three dark colors that we need to mix, right? So... We're going to take that black, we're going to get some of our blues, we're going to grab some of the crimson, and we're going to mix up this dark mix of a color. Just a dark mixture. 
All right, really deep, really hard mixes and get that color all mixed up into one, right? You wanna take those three or four and not have any stripes of any of them down here in our dark pile. Just want it to be that really deep, dark color, right? We're gonna wipe off the knife. Let's go over there. And then we're gonna come back. Let's put in, should we do a one-story or a two-story cabin? A little mansion of a cabin out there. You gotta let me know though. Let's come back here. Now, actually there is enough light. Remember, you wanna have some clouds or some background light behind your cabin. Otherwise, it's not gonna stand out. So why don't we come over here, pull it down, right onto the edge. Come around, turn our knife, match the pitch, pull it down that way, all right? See, without that light color back there, you wouldn't see that cabin. It would all be that same dark sky and you'd never see anything. Let's come over maybe about a half more on this guy and then we'll turn it to the side. One little swipe to the side like that. We're gonna have a really cool little place. Really cool little place. Bring up our sidewall a little bit. There we go. Now on this guy, again, we're got about one and a half lengths on the left side to one length on the right side. And that's gonna make up a very cool shape of a building. And then we're gonna go back and make it look like it's 3D, add a roof to it, do all that stuff. So let's come over here and mix up some more colors. If this is a cold blue scene, we're gonna have to use blue and white for a lot of the colors. All right, we don't want it to be too bright blue. So let's add a little bit more of that darker blue in there, grab a little bit of our dark mix, put that in there, and then you get this kind of dark grayish, bluish color like that. It's very cool. Very gorgeous little color. We're gonna take this color, we're gonna line it on the edge of our little house just by touching it, right? Going off the side a little bit. And then we're gonna line this side, just like that, right? Get the little pitch of our roof where we're gonna come down. Now, come out, down. We're gonna have to fill in that little space right there. And that's gonna make up our little roof, right? So all we do is come out here with the knife, grab it, slide it down, just like that, super easy. Super easy little thing. Now, let's brighten up this bit of blue so it's not exactly the same. Just a little bit of white into that one little pile and we're gonna scrape up out of there, come up underneath our pitch, leave a little bit of disconnect of a darkness and just pull down, right? We're gonna make it look like old frozen cold wood up there. Woo, leave that little disconnect though. Don't come up and touch it all the way. And if you don't have enough paint on your brush, it's not gonna work, or on your knife anyway, it's not gonna work. Drag it down. Doesn't have to be perfect, it's an old barn out there. Old nasty barn out there. All right, that's all you need, a little bit of color. Now we're gonna take that same bit of blue, mix it with a little bit of darker black, or our mixture down here, and then use that for our side walls. So you can see it's still got some mix on there, but it's a darker color. And that way, there we go, bring our little roof down. Perfect, now the way, that way it will look like this is in the light and this is in the shadow over here. Just by the way that we mix it up, right? Now let's take our little bit. We're gonna have to make a check mark out of our building. You can't just leave it flat on this side all the way across. It can't be flat, otherwise it's gonna look strange. So we have to kind of pull out from the top, way up here. See how the bottom's down here? We're pulling from way up here. You have to make that V shape very softly going down at an angle and then going up at an angle to make this little check mark of a shape and that'll make your building look more 3D. So if you're ever struggling with that, and you go, man, I just can't get the, the 3D shape of my building right, that's what's gonna be, All right? Let's come over here with a bit more of that grassiness and just tap in a bit of brightness just on the front side of the cabin, not around the shadowy side, it's dark over there. That's why our wood's darker, right? I think that guy needs a, just a little teeny tiny bit of a, of a chimney out there, just maybe. All right, we'll get him a little chimney. Pop a little chimney in right there. Boop, just by taking a little bit of the darkness, slapping it onto the canvas like that with the small side of our knife. We don't want it to get too big. We want it to be straight. There we go. Bang, come down just like that. A little bit into the roof, a little bit above the roof. Get you your cool little bit of our, of our um, thing. Now, if you want to scrape out a bit of doorway for our roof, uh, for our cabin, right? we can use, it's going to be too big and that's going to be too small. So let's grab our big knife, use the small side of the knife, and we're going to do it two times over here. One, two, and that's going to scrape away that bright paint and leave our little doorway with a little bit of side, 
sidewall on him too, right? He's got some sidewall over here. Just never got lit up. There we go. Never got lit up. Now we've scraped away all the paint and all the dark paint underneath, revealing the dark canvas, right? Don't worry about scraping it. You're not going to hurt the canvas, right? Now we're going to come over here. We're going to scrape out a small little window in the front. Just a little bit. Boop. Now he's got a dark little window in there too. Old shabby little cabin. I don't know that I want to go back in and, and see what's back here, guys. It's a little scary. I don't know that I want to go alone, that's for sure. And that's for certain. So, let's come in and let's figure out what we're going to do. We need to put something here. And since we have our dark color already mixed up and ready to go, Pow! Just like that, right? We'll take our makeup brush, our Bob Ross half-sized round brush is what it's called. And we'll go right into that deep dark color right there. Pop it into that darkness, maybe grab up some of that blue. All right, just so we got a little bit of both, the dark and the blue color. And then we'll come in here and we're just gonna pop it in. It should be darker than anything around, which should cover everything that's not the dark color, right? Should cover all that light color. Let's take a little bit more of that same thing a little bit, a little bit of our blue in there. Come over here and you know what? Let's pop one like he's living right on the edge of the portal and it's gonna come up and cover over this whole bit back there, right? Our whole big bush hides where our river's coming from, our little steps back and forth. Cool little things, right? We can even put a little baby, with the little baby but oh, right in there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. My goodness. All right, let's wash this brush off now. I don't think we're going to use it for a while. Well, we gotta, we're going to have to highlight them here in a second. But beyond that, I don't think we're going to use it after that. Let me know what you guys think of this one. Type it in the comments. Hit the share button. Got to do all the cool little things. If you want to be closer, tell me you want to be closer. We'll zoom in and get the whole camera a whole lot closer. If you want to see all the details or if you prefer seeing this mug. I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why you want to see me, but if you prefer it, then let me know that too, right? Let's kind of come in. Let's get a little bit of our liquid white. Come over like that. Get a bit of our titanium white. Dab it into our same little brush. And let's come into here and just touch just so lightly. A couple little things. Little flowers, little bits. Little teeny tiny touches. That's all you're going to have to do, right? You've got to have enough paint on the brush, though. And that way, they'll come off very lightly attaching themselves to the bush. If they don't come off lightly, then guess what? You don't have the right mixture. You need to thin it down by adding that liquid white, right? Which is different than our titanium white. Titanium white. Now, let's go wash this brush off again. Like I said, we probably won't use it for the whole rest of the time. The whole rest of the eve. So I planned on doing a 90 minute show tonight because Portal paintings end up, so it's like two paintings in one. So, in order to uh, to do that, I gave us some extra time. Extra time. Because portal paintings can be a portal pain sometimes. Now, let's go maybe back here. We should put something in. Right, maybe a little sticky tree. Definitely want to do one that's coming out of our portal onto this side, and you'll see it right here. All I need is a bit of that darkness. That same bit of dark paint right here. Just like that, onto our fan brush. Wiggle it down, wiggle it down, wiggle it down. And then we're gonna come up from here, we're gonna go straight down, pushing harder and harder, but not very thick. Right? It doesn't have to be super thick. And then our little tree lives right inside our little bushy ditch, our little bushy bush back there. All right, a couple little taps, just to cover the base where it went in, very cool. Very cool little tree, very easy little way to do it. Super thin line on the way down. Then we're gonna come back and we're gonna actually go into our, our meat and lamp black paint, which is a super runny black paint. And it stays very dark. It doesn't interact with the white that's on the canvas already. So we'll take that with our odorless mineral spirits and we'll start piping in a couple little branches. And they start coming off. And what you wanna do is aim for the light areas because Otherwise, we're not going to see the branches, right? We we'll start growing out in our clouds. We we'll start popping out down here. Get a little thicker. They get a little longer. They start reaching, reaching out. Comes up like that. Very cool. A couple little bits. 
here, there, and everywhere. Right? They don't all have to be the same size. They don't all have to go the same direction. You can do whatever you want to do with your little tree bits. And we got a branch that comes out here and just wants to grow forever. Reaching out into the night. Right across our bit of our light right there. Really cool. Pop it up into there. What happens is the buyer is going to go to look at there and go, ooh, look at all those little things that I never noticed before. All those little bits that we never noticed before, right? And that's the fun part. Remember, this painting is available for sale if you go over to my Etsy store, paintwithjosh.etsy.com. And once you're inside the store, search for number 976. Did you guys want to be zoomed in? I never saw. Do we want to be zoomed in? Do we not want to be zoomed in? Let me know right here while I'm while I'm here and ready. Thank you guys for joining the live. Yes, we did want to be zoomed in. Okay, let's move it closer. Stand you guys up. Zip. Very cool. Right there, we'll be able to see every single detail. Perfection. Is that good for you guys? No, don't zoom, they say. It's okay. You can still see my arm. It's fine. Can't please everybody, right? But Let's take a little touch of that light bluish color that we use for our roof and stuff. And let's go over and let's just touch it along the side of our tree. Just very lightly on the way up. These little, little trunk marks that start to light up in the night. Maybe this guy will come over here. Just lightly touch. All we want to do is drop off the teeniest, tiniest little thing that's going to drag your eye. It's going to follow those things up like the Luxor light here in Vegas. And uh, you may be able to see the tip top of this guy. Boop. Little touch. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. All right? Got your light side of your tree. Got your dark side of your tree. That's really neat. The lights in my studio make all this dark paint look really bright. But trust me, it's not. It's not. Why not? What if we do this? We come in here. Try to use that Meaden lamp black. Keep it very dark, right? That's the key. Keeping it dark. Come back in with our light. Okay. Little things all the way up the tree. Every so often, sometimes down here, we can grip it and rip it a little bit. Grip and rip. Drag it around the side. There you go. Get that little bit of roundness. Get a little bit of dark side to it. Looks very, very cool. Should we put one over here is the question, though. Because that's a, uh, it's kind of like an empty little area over here by our, by our cabin. Why don't we do just a little guy? A little guy like that, right? Ooh, you know what? Why don't we do a little, just a little pine tree. Gotta have a little pine tree in there, man. A little happy tree. A little tappy tappy tree choo, choo, choo. covering up all the side of the cabin right we can still see there's a little side to him this tree's trying to grow its way out of the portal very cool the more you bring it down the more it's going to want to work its way out of the light so be careful be careful let's come over here with that liquid white again and then grab up just a touch of the white we got a little bit of blue on the brush already so it shouldn't be pure white is the key, right? We don't need it to be purest of pure whites. Maybe we'll come over here. Just touch on the side of our little trunk up top. And then it's going to be kind of hard for you guys to see. When we do these right side lights, like the, the light on the right side of the painting, I kind of have to get in the way to make the tree branches look right because you need the right angle. You got to have the right angle of the brush in order to make your tree like a tree. Remember, you leave your dark side back there. Don't cover everything. Don't cover it all. But I try to show you guys as much as possible when we're doing, you know, detailed things. I try to show you. All right. Let me wash a couple brushes. And while we're washing the brushes, you guys go ahead and tell me what's your favorite fast food meal? What's your favorite place? to order from, either order from or go drive through or whatever. What's your favorite spot? <clears throat> You're gonna tell me in the comments and we're gonna see if I agree with any of you guys 
and your horrible food choices. Let me see. Let me see. Let's see. Oh, dude, I do have some uh, diamond art kits that are going to be coming out probably next year. Mine's Taco Bell. Yeah, I mean, it could be McDonald's, though, too. Del Taco, gross. Get out of here, Wheeze. Leave the stream immediately. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Tacos. Oh, nice. That's cool. Thank you, Michelle. I hope you stick around. Check out my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash paintwithjosh. Paint with Josh over on YouTube. Wards? I've never heard of this Wards place. Tacos and DP. Bubble says beautiful. Appreciate it. The people want puzzles now. Well, we're going to be doing our, we're doing our diamond art kits and uh, those are going to be just insanely popular, I'm thinking, with the fans. Hopefully you guys are going to like the diamond art kits and you're going to go and support all the diamond art kits and then we'll make more diamond art kits. It's going to be fantastic. How many times can we say diamond art kits? There we go. And then I end up getting, I think I get 15% of like sales quarterly around the globe. So. Wherever you are, if there's diamond art kits and you see a paint with Josh one, get one, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Man, that looks cool. I kind of want to brighten up the tree just a touch, just a littlest bit. It's a little dark. So let's just brighten that sucker up just a teensy, tiny little bit. Right? We know it's a nighttime painting, but... There we go. A couple more little bright areas to him. Right out on the edge, it gets darker as it gets closer. Fantastic. Fantastic. So, we painted that Stranger Things painting last night, which turned out amazing. And then I went and watched like four episodes of Stranger Things before falling asleep. Fantastic. Let's see. Okay, who's tired out there? You guys tired from my sleepy music? The sleepy, relaxy music? Is London falling asleep yet? It's crappy candles. Oh, she's here. She's here. Are you guys getting sleepy though? Oh, see Heather. Oh, look, it's their their pan flute playing "Circle of Life" by Elton John. Can you guys hear that? In the sun, on the sun rolling high, with the sapphire in the sky. <laughs> I don't remember all the lyrics. Uh, something, uh, it's the sack of You guys can hear it, right? It's not just me. Let's bring this over here with our waterfall. A lot more paint on the brush. Look at that. Ba Boom! To the left and down. You get all those little bits that look like they're way closer than the rest of them, right? We take it and we slide it back. Woo! That's a cool one. Look at the water change, right? You have that tumultuousness as it's coming up to the edge which is why it gets brighter than it is back there all these little things leading up to it. it's very 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 cool little portal painting guys really neat one very cool plus it was made to the circle of life and who doesn't like the circle of life now i'm going to come in here i don't want to go too far down with the waterfall because the waterfalls in these portal paintings seascape paintings turn into clouds so if we want to put some clouds up in there Grab a little bit of white onto the brush. And let's just come in from over here and we start getting close to our portal, dipping down like the clouds caught the waterfall. Maybe we come back up, we spin the brush, we turn it all over the place. We just don't want it to go very far, right? Don't want it to go too far down is the key. If you take it too far down, then we're not gonna have any room for our ocean or our crashing wave, none of that. So be very careful, leaving about, I don't know, six to seven, eight inches from the bottom of this one. Coming up here with our Bob Ross one inch landscape brush, looking just like that. Coming over here like this, and just with our pressure. Watch, sometimes we'll even skip areas. Maybe we don't even touch that area just to see what it looks like, right? Stays extra bright, and we go over a little bit more, soften it down just a touch, right? Start to mix it. And then down here at the bottom, we wanna be super rough. Super rough, right? And it blends it all out, leaves that little bit of color back in there. So you can put your ocean here or whatever comes next and have a little bit of space in between your clouds and your water. That's what we're trying to do. Up into the waterfall versus down into the uh, sea, right? Get the top of the cloud first and then work the bottom and work it lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter. Now rougher and rougher and rougher, right? Really pushing hard on it, you can hear it. 
just like that. You get these clouds with a flat bottom. Oh, fantastic. Classes in Knoxville, that is correct, Anna. They are uh, the 19th through the 23rd in Knoxville. It's coming up soon. Coming up soon, I'll be traveling all the way to Knoxville to teach classes. It's going to be really cool. I'm going to go hang out with Bram while I'm there. We're going to hang out with Tanisha. It's literally a dream come true. Um, hanging out down in Knoxville. And then on the days when, I don't, when I'm not too busy, I can just drive around and look at all the fall autumn leaves. It's going to be fantastic. Just going to be fantastic. All right, let's get a nice clean fan brush. So I need to wash this guy because, you know, can't go at it with a dirty brush. Beat the devil out of that sucker. Come back nice and clean and dry, right? Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Now, let's get a drink. What happened to the tunage? Oh, it just went to like a very soft, like windy spot. Can you pin where to purchase again? So if you go to paintwithjosh.etsy.com and then search, once you're in my store, you use a search bar and you type in number 976, it'll be this one right here. Hmm. Play some rock. I already know that uh, Cloud Zaddy plays rock and roll when he does his paintings, okay? So we're gonna leave Cloud Zaddy with his rock. Very softly, softly, softly pulling it down. So soft, just to take that chunky paint, it's gonna make it dry just so, like a couple days faster. Couple days. And that's a long time when you're uh, you're trying to dry a painting, especially when you're trying to ship a painting, you're trying to get it out as quick as you can. You want those extra couple days. I love these all blue paintings too. Like the all blue paintings, they just touch my soul, I think. They just hit me in the soul. There we go. So, like I said, type this into your browser, paintwithjosh.etsy.com, right? Type that into your Safari. If you have the Etsy app, it will open it up automatically. If you don't, it'll take you to the web browser. And then you, uh, once you're in my store, use the little search bar at the top, type in number 976, and then you'll be able to find this painting super easily. Now, let's come back in here. A little bit of white on the brush, not too much. Remember, don't need to be too bright back here, We're way off in the distance. Let's say maybe we had just a little bit, we're gonna decide. Just a little line way off. See how you get right up underneath your clouds back there? Right up underneath them where you have that little what? We're going to start talking about it now that we're into the seascape section. There's a two word. Five syllables make up these two words, okay? What are these two words that we talk about all the time when we talk about using the same colors and then kind of doing something with them to keep them different? All right, what do we say? What is that thing? It's that thing that we talk about all the time. Who's got it? Dave's got it. Dark separator. Dave, coming in hot with the dark separator. You gotta have the dark separator back there. Now, it'll get more prominent the more color that we add to the painting, but we wanna keep the darkness back there. Don't wanna have it get too crazy, right? Come back with our one inch brush. Start to make it soft. This oil is literally like a sequin pillow. You can slide it back and forth. You can change its angle. You can blend it completely away if you wanted to. Let's have a little bit of softness back there. Right at the base of those clouds. That looks really cool, man. That looks really cool. And then we'll have a little, a little pirate ship out here. Very neat. Very neat little thing. So let's see where you guys are watching from. I love seeing uh, where you guys are from around the world. And uh, let me know because it's always fun to see. I always get people from South Africa and Australia, all over the United States, everywhere, man, everywhere. So let's see where you guys are watching. Pennsylvania, Texas, Michigan, UK. See, we got New Zealand, San Diego. Arizona, Kentucky, Wisconsin, Newfoundland, Pennsylvania. Was that Nineveh, Canada? Uh, Canada? Missouri, Texas, Tennessee, Virginia, Newfoundland, Knoxville. Hey, I got classes coming up in Knoxville. I hope you're signed up for them. I hope you're signed up. Colorado, 
Arizona. Man, it's 4.35 in the morning and you're up watching Paint with Josh. Kylie's here from Minnesota. Jade's from Montana, Staten Island, New York, Oregon, Indiana, and Colorado. Man, how can you learn? Go to paintwithjosh. Uh, sorry, youtube.com slash paintwithjosh and it'll teach you. All my videos are out there. I'll show you every single thing from, you know, step by step how to do all these little paintings. It'll be really cool. Now, let's get a smaller fan brush, actually. I'm going to come in with a smaller fan because a lot of times when I'm doing smaller little details, right, you want a smaller brush. You want that, all that big bristles to get in the way. I'll switch to a much smaller brush. Come into a little bit more of that white. Mix it down here just, in, just so it's smallest amount possible. And then maybe we'll come back here and light up just a little mustache. A little peak in the wave back there, right? Maybe this guy was up there too. Just a little peak. That's all you need. Little things. Drag it off. You can always change your angle. Watch this. Come down, right? This guy too. Come down. Drag a little bit of the light color off the top, and all of a sudden it starts to look like it starts to look like little waves back there as they start coming in, coming in, coming in. Right? All the everything to the left we don't have to worry about. Leave a little space. Maybe about five, six inches worth of space for our our um, pirate ship in the background. So, which we can, I mean, do you guys want me to do the ship now, or should we finish the seascape first, and then do the ship later, once we're all done with the ocean scene, which doesn't take very long, you know what I mean? It's like a, like that, like that, yes, baby, yes. You guys gotta let me know, though. Literally, we can knock out this whole little crasher super quickly and uh, and then we can go back and do our pirate ship but if you don't let me know I'm never gonna know so let me know let me know let me know do the ship now holy ship this painting is amazing thank you www.www.www <laughs> let's see we do the sea we got the ship we got now Kylie singing, uh, uh, we were just here, we just heard that on Peruvian flute music. Holy ship, is that what we're gonna name this one? Holy ship, this painting is amazing. All right, everybody says the ship. I guess we'll do the ship then. Just let me make this little bit of ocean a bit brighter so it doesn't lose itself. I mean, I could really do whatever I want. Right? I could say we're gonna do the ship and then I could just continue to do the ocean scene which might look really cool, actually. Plus, it's gonna give us a chance to see where we're at with stuff, right? What if we came in like this? Slide it back over here, off to the side. We're eventually gonna meet our little pivot point right there, right? Got our spot, and our spot, and our spot. Well, X marks the spot over there. It'd be really cool. And then we'll set up for the seascape, and then we'll do the ship, okay? We'll do the ship, big old crasher coming down. Starting at the top, we're gonna whip our way over. We need to add a bit of brightness for the eye. Come in there, a little bit. And then it'll start to look cool, I promise. I swear it's easy. Come back in here and very lightly start to drag that paint that we had on there back to that little bit of dark separator, right? That last little shadow. We got our shadow, 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 shadow. Gotta have our dark separator here. We're gonna say it lots of times. Dark separator, right? The more you mix down your eye, the brighter it'll get. And the more, uh, and the darker it'll get, the more that you mix it up because you're mixing with all those under colors, all those bits of blue back in there, right? We mix it, we mix it until we think that it looks good. And then we're gonna come back and cover over uh, bits and pieces of it anyway. So in any case, it is all good around everywhere. Brighten up the front, drop in a little bit of excess brightness that will eventually highlight uh, and soften and drag back. Now, once we get over to our little pivot point, our little X marks the spot, we're gonna start coming back to that center area, just like that, around the whole thing. All right, this little guy ends up being the wave in the front. Come over to the side. The more we start coming down, the more it's gonna turn and curve as our wave goes off in this direction as well, matching its curve, right? So it's basically like a little ramp. We come up this way and go down the other way. Same thing, we're looking at the same little peaks out here, right? Let's talk about the little mustache shapes, the little peaks, little peaks over here. So this peak, we're looking at it down like this, down on the top of it. So it's gotta be a little bit different, right? Just a little touch. Now, 
since we've got this far, let's come back in just very softly. We don't want the color to touch itself. I know it sounds bad. Don't touch yourself, color. We don't need that here. All right, we want to leave that little dark separation in there. And as you can see, the more that you pull out, the longer you drag, the more we soften little different things, the more we're going to be able to see stuff as well. So let's get our little darkness on our smallest, teeniest, tiniest, littlest of, uh, of brushes. And we're going to see if we can't do this out of our head again. Without any reference photo, I should have printed out one of my pictures of the paintings that I've done before with the ship. But in any case, we don't need that. Let's see. Now, depending on how big you make it, depends on how far you have to go up with your mass and stuff. So let's start small. Let's go a little line back there. All right, little guy. Start to come down. We're going to fill him in. We would have a bit of our backing to the ship way off in the back. Doesn't have to be the brightest part. Just like that. Now, I'm going to come up and do our, um, our section with our... That little bit, I don't even know what it is, the little bit that pokes off the front with a smaller brush. Gotta come in with a smaller brush on that guy. Then we'll go highlight our little ship back there, throw some masts and some sails and different stuffs on him. But initially, are you guys zoomed in far enough? Can we see the ship well enough? Looks like it. Maybe we came out real sharp with our little nosy bit. Came down, hit the water back in there, just like that. Put the top to it. Little drag lines for our planks, very soft in the back. Now we can go back and sort of highlight that shape and add some little differences to him. And we take that dark mix that we have and we're gonna do three little crosses. One of them is in the back. Why don't we do him? All right, put him back there. A little bit across. Now we got the bigger one that sits in the front of him. So we'll cross in front of his little arm. Like that. He's got one along the bottom back there. Now we're gonna need to go get more paint. All right, just sort of making a little crisscross, a little, a little um, uh, tic-tac-toe box. That's all we're doing. We're making a little tic-tac-toe shapes. And our little thing up here, a little crow's nest, right? The next piece would come underneath. That's gonna have to be a bit taller. And then we'd have our bigger piece for the center bit. Trying to leave them disconnected so you can see them all, you know what I mean? You don't want all the lines to turn into themselves. You know, <laughs> you can be like, oh, well that's that, and that is, whoa, that's obviously that. And this is, well, what the heck is this? You know what I mean? They all sort of have to be the same, like the two in the back have to be the same size. Get our little bits. Just trying to make them not have all the lines connect up. That's all we're trying to do. Right? Just like that. A couple little bits back and forth. Tell me that don't look like a pirate ship out there. You can't. You can't do it. Because it do. It do look like a pirate ship. Now, let's come in here. Wherever we're going to have a bit of our sails, let's just dump in, just with our same brush, a little tattered bit underneath the sail that we can light up. All right, so that way it looks like they're all, they've all been rolled up. They've been pulled up and cinched underneath our little lines, in which case we're going to lose some of our side bits. All right, just little bits where we have all of our sails tucked up in these rough seas. <laughs> Now, what if we got a little touch of that white and liquid white and a little sneak of the blue on there, right, on our smallest little line of brush ever, and maybe, just maybe, we could come across this guy and just do the littlest bit of light on our, on our masts. But you gotta go back and you gotta make sure that you have enough mixture so it comes off easily. Let me do the top up here, just a little bit baby line. They don't even all have to be the same. Teensy, tiny little things back there. The smallest of the smallest little bits that we're just kind of accenting on the side. You don't even want them to be as big as the little mass line itself, right? So, teeniest, tiniest little amount. 
littlest, smallest little thing. Right, maybe across the top of that guy, we have a bit of light across the top of our mast back there. Just lighting up little things, little bits. Maybe around our ship, we had a small little piece of light we could see. And around the edge, right? We'll brighten this guy up and then blend him down again. Splitting it up just a little bit, and we'll come down for this last one. Leaving a dark line around the edge, though. I don't want it to be all the same. It's not like a silhouette out there. Gonna brighten up our little cabin's quarters in the back. Keeping some disconnects in there so we don't have all the color touching on all of itself, right? Blending, 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 blending. Ooh, little ghost ship out there. Starting to come to life. Starting to come to life. Now, let's take another little line of brush. It's got a softer tip on it. We're just going to start to blend these guys down just a little bit. Just so we can see there's a little touch, a couple little details out there, a little difference in the color. Shoot, we need to pipe in. Josh is on his meds, dude. We could pipe in like each little board. Slide it in there. Little things, guys, little things. Now, what if we wanted to hide where our base was coming out, our ship, right? With some bits of splashies back there. Just a little bit. And you can always go back in, pull them out, in different ways. Look like our ship's out there in the water. Sliding through. <laughs> little bits, nothing too crazy, right? Don't get too crazy. Don't drag too much of that color around either. Very cool, if you ask me. Soft little ship out there in the distance. You, oh ship, holy ship. There's a ship out there. You really make that guy a bit darker. Gotta line him up with this little bit of darkness out here. Made it all wavy underneath so you could see. Oh, that's cool, guys. That's cool. Bit of brightness right here that we'll take out. Take him out. Zip, zip, zip. Very neat. Very neat. Now, I'm gonna come back in and highlight some of these little bits of our, just by dabbing a couple little things in there, right? You'd have, you'd see like a, Couple little bits of rolled up canvas out there is my is my thought. Yes, perfect. Perfect. And that brightness. It's too bright over here. It's too bright. There we go. Now what if we had like the captain's quarters are back in here or something? little things in there. Maybe it's a ghost light. Who knows? Who knows what it is? It's a ghost lamp. All right, let's finish up on this seascape now. That's Josh's favorite part. That's my favorite part of the whole deal. I need people to come take seascape classes because those are fun. <laughs> All right, we've already prepped it. We've got our little thing way out there. We could have him being like attacked by a Kraken arm too, just like... <laughs> I'm going to crush him like that. Be really cool. Be really cool, guys. Dude, I like that. That's pretty neat. Pretty neat. Does it glow in the dark? Well, it would act differently underneath a uh, black light because of the white and the blues and all that stuff. But I've never tried it. I don't have a black light here to uh, subject them to. But I would imagine... It would look way different in a black light. Okay, we're gonna take our white paint like this and come into the tip top of our crasher. I'm gonna throw it over to the side, right? Creates all those little bits. Let's do it again from here. Throw it over to the side. Keep going down, 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 down. Right? Crashing, crashing. 
very bright up here because the, wa the, wa the water, the white starts to interact with the blue as it gets down here, it starts to change. So let's flip it around to the white side of the brush. I'm gonna turn it to that side and come back in here. Maybe we touch, we throw out again. And now what do we call that spot over here? Does anybody remember? Because we got a whole nother one right there. We got a whole nother place where we're gonna have to come back to. So what do we call that little spot? Maverick Steam, you go over to paintwithjosh.com, uh, sorry, paintwithjosh.etsy.com and that'll take you to my store. Hope knows what it is. It's the pivot point. The pivot point, right? Now we're going to have to load our brush up again. A little bit of white. And then we're going to come back to this same spot. This guy, let's make it a little bit taller, actually. Right up there like that. Now we're going to come back to our same spots. We're going to go out, come back, go a little bit lower. Back, a little bit lower. Back, a little bit lower. Back, a little bit lower. A little bit lower. And all of a sudden, we've made this little heart shape of a crashing bit of water back in here, right? Shoo! that rolls down, wherever it's gonna crash, doesn't matter, we're gonna bring it up. But don't go all the way down to your canvas, it's gonna be rough for you. Okay, now, wherever we want our water to come down and smack is where we're gonna put our bit of side-to-side -side movements, right? And we're just gonna make little straight lines, but we're gonna drop down each time until, look well, where we're coming up to. What did we just line up with as we came and touched our bit, right? Super easy. Now, as we come back here, they're very long, but as we get in here, they get shorter, and they start getting more and more and more tighter. Right? Little teeny tiny tighter circles as they whip around, starting to show that our water is gonna come and, and uh, round its way up like that. You know what I mean? Leave your little dark separators though. Don't wanna have it be crazy. Can't have it be too crazy. There we go. Now, with the rest of the space underneath, that's our wet sh sandy sheeniness, right? So in order to make that happen, I'm gonna ask you guys a couple questions. And then, depending on how you answer the questions, we'll let me know whether you're a Paint With Josh fan or not. <laughs> so we're gonna to need to put down some paint. We're gonna to need to do three things. And I'm gonna move you guys down just a little bit so it's gonna be in the view, right? So we need to do a couple things here. We have to put this paint at a certain distance below the other paint and streak it downwards. So who knows the certain distance that we're leaving in that little dark separator right there. Who knows how much distance is right there? Anybody know? Dude, we could call this one Sailor's Thoughts of Home. <gasps> Fantastic. Hateful behavior? What are you talking about? Let's see. All right, quarter inch, exactly. Quarter inch is where we want to be where we want to be because we're going to take our two inch brush and we're going to pull it down right that's all we got to do and take it and pull it down now are we going to pull it down with light pressure or are we going to pull it down with heavy pressure that's the question do we use a lot of pressure do we use a little pressure what do we do and i'm going to read out all your answers so let's see what do you guys got archery girl says a lot ghg or jhd says a little uh hope says heavy pressure Let's see, Rose says she could stare at it forever. Sutto says a little. Texas Realtor says heavy. Dayton says little. Lord J says medium. Ooh, see, he snuck it in there. <laughs> it's either light or heavy, right? Uh, Charlie says heavy. Brian says heavy. Heather says a lot. Uh, Marmar says a lot. John Weathersby says soft. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys both. Since we have both answers, right? If we came in and did it a little softly, just everyone who said soft or a little pressure, just let me know, would you leave your sand looking like that? We pulled down with a very light amount of pressure and then we pulled across back and forth with a very light amount of pressure. So who would leave their sand looking just like that and walk away and be like, okay, I'm on to the next step. No pressure or anything, no judgment, just would you or would you not, yes or no? Hope says no, not me, says Anna. Lady Scott says no. All the fabulous mod girls and, uh, and uh, Discord members. Looks like everyone's Amy, Rose, Quarter. I just dropped my brush on the carpet. That's fantastic. <laughs> no purrs, says Sutto. Keep going, says Thirsty, right? So let's try it the opposite way. And we'll try it with a lot of pressure. Real heavy. Bend the bristles. Shoot them off, right? Really got to push hard. Hard, hard pressure. Hard, 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 hard. Now, now you guys let me know. Does this look like sand? Yes or no? And if it doesn't, it's okay. You can be honest. But if it doesn't look like sand, what does it look like? Tell me what it looks like. 
Whitney says, nah, that's okay. We're only halfway there. Marmar says, yes. All right, Texas Realtor says, no. What does it look like? Well, it looks like a waterfall. Looks like a mirror. Looks like glass. That's very cool. Looks like ice, right? Someone else said it looks like water. Reflection of the falls. Edge of a cliff. Those are all good, right? Now, I told you we had to do three things. We had to pull down, and then we had to swipe one way or the other for our thing. So now you got to tell me, do we swipe away from the wave first and then push it in? Or do we swipe towards the wave first and then pull it out? What do we do? Away or towards the wave? And then you're really going to see it turn into sand. You're really going to see it. Let's see. Rose says towards. Don says away. Lane Bug says away. Towards, away. Away first. Away. No idea, says Jess. That's perfect because we're about to teach you right here. Farak says away. Sutto says away. Anna says away, then towards. Away, says Brenda. We must have some viewers in here that have watched my show before because you guys know we've been talking about these dark separators. And let's do a contest right now. I'm going to follow whoever can tell me Whoever's the closest about how many dark separators there are in the painting right now, you're going to get a follow from me, Paint with Josh, right? So let's, I'm going to count them up, but first you guys have to tell me, and we're not going to let you cheat and see the painting. So how many dark separators are in the painting, right? And then I'm going to count them up. Ooh, it's a perfect number, too. All right, you guys ready? I'm going to scroll back through, and I'm going to see if anybody's got that number right yet. Number right, number right. You guys are all saying 12, 14, 12. Well, it looks as though Paint With Josh does not have to give a follow to anybody. Oh, Jess, there you go. I think I already Oh, I don't. There you go. I'm going to follow you, Jess, because you got it. 13 dark separators in this painting so far, and we're going to go through and count them up. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. So it's going to be at the very top of your screen. It's going to be number one, number two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen dark separators in the painting. This one counts as, if that's 13, 12. This is part of 11, that one on the side. So 13 dark separators. Jess got it, and she got the follow from Paint With Josh. So... You're welcome, right? Now, as we were all saying about the dark separator, you don't want to take and push it forward. Otherwise, our two colors are going to meet up and they're going to touch together. And that's not what we want. We want them to stay separate. So let's pull it away from the wave with the same amount of rough pressure that we did before. All right? Now it looks a lot more like wet sand to me, but we're still not done. Look at that gap. We're going to shrink that gap. So we're going to come in here. We're going to start to push. And we push and we push and we push and we push and we push. Until it gets very, very small, very small. Not trying to push it together, just trying to shrink it down. And now it looks like the foam is sat up on top of the sand and it can move across back and forth. Just like that, right? And then we're gonna to touch up the final bit of the sand when we go to do our spray of our water. So let's come in here. We need to get another brush and get all that deep dark paint on it. So who knows the three deep dark colors that we mix up in order to make a Paint With Josh painting, which one of these colors is it going to stop on? Is it green? No. No, it's not going to be green. So what are those colors? Which one of those dark colors? Amy says blue, black, and crimson. I'm going to pin that title right there. Right there. Blue, black, and crimson. Everybody go follow Amy, because we all know if you were ever in the pinned spot, you're going to want to be followed as well. It's a water spray off of our ship out there. Very cool. Very cool. I feel like I'm stepping on something. Okay, we're going to go mix up our dark colors, our blue, black, and crimson. They're always right here on my palette, so we can always see them and always use them together. All right, they mix up this deep, dark, purpley mix of paint. Looks black, but it's not. It's a mix of three colors, right? Now, we're going to attach ourselves to this long, dark separator that separates our wave and our... Our eye of our wave and the lip all the way up, right? And we're going to attach ourselves to that guy. So we're going to start to touch very lightly, slapping it up into the wave like you're about to grab your honey's bum, right? We're not trying to cover down here. We're not trying to slap it and go down and try to cover the eye of our wave. We're trying to tap up at it like you're just going to go whack and just slap right in the bum, pop, just like that, right? 
All you gotta do, slap up into the white. Using the corner of the brush first, just like this. We come in here, you smack at it, you smack at it, you smack at it, you smack at it. And then all of a sudden, these little bits on the top start looking like little bits of water or bits of shadowy bits of water. And then we're gonna go highlight those. So get that darkness on there, come up, slap into it, work on your S-shaped curve. Everybody knows about the S-shaped curve. And if you don't know about the S-shaped curve, I can teach you about it in about five seconds. I already actually have it written out. It'd be super easy to show you. All we're gonna do down here is just literally mush the brush onto the canvas, creating all this spray of this wave as it's about to hit and fly off, right? People are gonna be walking by in your hallway and they're gonna get, they're gonna feel like the spray. They're like, ah, it's, it's, it's coming to hit me. I felt it. I felt it. Janine, Janine, I felt the wave spray me. Right? That's, those are the calls I'm gonna get. Um, we bought your painting and it sprays our guests because it's so real. <laughs> okay, now we've got our bit of our mixed up bit of crashing water spray and we're gonna come in with our white brush and mix up a bit of our light color and a bit of our liquid white. Now look at this stuff. This liquid white is drippy, right? Look at it. It's about to fall off. Ha! Get off of there. Super drippy paint, even though it didn't want to come off the brush. But that drippiness makes the paint really wet and thin. And that thinness is what's going to attach itself. So as we come up above our little dark spots, we're going to start to smack. And as you can see, the more you get up, the higher you smack into it, which creates little odd little shapes like that, right? That little shape right there. It's like a little spray of water. All you gotta do, once we crest the top, now we're gonna ride our shadows all the way down, but not trying to cover them up, right? There's still about a quarter inch of the darkness underneath all of the light color. I'm not trying to cover it all, right? Come in here. Once we get around the bottom, same thing. We just go crazy. Just absolutely ham nuts, right? But what have we left in between all of these little pieces back here? All these little smushes of white. What have we left in between all those little bits? Right? We've been talking about them a lot. There's probably about a thousand in there. <laughs> what have we done? Let's see. The process of painting is not finished until it's finished. That's very true. Look at that. Who's this? Uh, Gus... A.A. Ron, you got the pin for knowing all these little dark separators in there, right? If you have all those little dark separators, then you're going to have room for all of our paint to take and blend. Oh, that looks cool. A little bit of like little stuff, right? So by leaving all of our dark separation in there, we're going to mix up the paint. We're going to do this two times and then we're going to throw wa uh, water at it, right? Water. We're going to throw water at the canvas being paint. It's going to look like water. And uh, then we're going to be done. So with no paint on the brush, we come in here, we're going to start to mix it like we mixed up our cloud. It's so lightly, right? And it's going to start to mix with all that dark color, which is going to go gray. You get all these little gray shadows. Maybe we don't even go further up than that, right? All of a sudden starts to look more and more and more like water the more you mix it up. Now we're going to come back for round two. We're gonna go back into our liquid white again. So fresh little dab onto the corner of the brush, right? Into the paint again. And then we're gonna do it again. We're gonna come back here. We're gonna start lower, obviously. You don't have to start way up here this time, right? Start a little bit lower down here. Come down, start smacking into it. And then again, going crazy, but we're going a little bit less crazy than we did before. And again, what did we leave in between all those little bits of super bright white? Right? Even though it's not dark anymore, it's not the darkest of the darks, what did we leave in between there? Charlie says little separators, little dark separators, that's right. So, here's your last question of the evening that could earn you a pin spot in the uh, comments right here. Do we go lighter pressure as we mix this up, or do we go heavier pressure as we mix this up over here? If we want it to retain itself and be different than the color underneath, do we go light or heavy? Jess says light. Just G says, there's two people named Jess watching? My goodness. You guys are coming in too fast. Je oh, let's see. Uh, oh, my goodness. Where are we going? Everyone's popping in so crazily fast. Let's do this. Lane bug. Lane bug says lighter. And you're 100% correct. If we want it to be different, we've got to come in and go so much lighter than before. Sometimes just barely even touching it. Right? Not even touching every piece. 
these little bits. We don't want to go too much further than right there at the bottom corner, right? And as you can see now, it's got a lot of depth in there, but that's nothing compared to what it's about to be. So do you want to be zoomed in for the spritz of water? Like we're going to come out here and we're going to start to spray off the edge of the the palette. So do you want to be zoomed in and see all of that up close or do you want to be back here where you are? Corey says yes. Aaron says yes. <laughs> Let's see. No, says Sutto. Yes, yes, zoom, yes, zoom, yes, zoom, zoom, zoom. Okay, you guys all want to see it zoom. So let me put this down real quick, real quickly. And then we'll come over here. I'm going to turn you. I'm going to come in like this. Look at all the details in this wave, you guys. There we go. Now, we're going to be shooting water from everywhere across the sucker, okay? In order to do that, we need to go into our liquid white. I'm trying to stay over here by the thing as far away from you guys as possible. I'm going to dump it up here. Right? That's all we need to do. Push it off. Now, as we drag across our, our palette blade right here, the edge of it, it's going to drag those bristles back and then fling them forward, shooting out the water. You ready to see it? Right here. It's going to happen fast. You start popping out, and popping out, and moving. Pop and move, and you start getting all these little bits. Let me get a little bit more. Gotta have a little bit more out there on the edge. There we go. Pop, 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 pop. All right, shooting it out all over the place. You get all these little things to happen. They're fantastic. <laughs> like it just came down and hit. I mean, crazy. They're a little bit too bright for being down there for me. I'm gonna go back in. Pop in a couple more little pieces. Pop, 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 pop. Just like that, throwing them off. You get these really cool little spray out areas where our water's coming from all over the place. All over the place, right? Turn you guys back, get a full screen again. Very cool. Very cool. Elevated, it just takes it to a whole nother level. Whole nother level. Adds so much depth to it too. So much depth, guys. All right, let's wash off a couple brushes. And then we'll go back, pop in the bird family, do all the rest of that. Man, that looks cool. And take this guy, we're gonna soften him down just a touch, bringing him up, dragging up that little bit of dark separation just a little closer. That way it's not so super dark. There we go. There we go. There we go, guys. Very cool. Right? You can change it as much as you want. That's the best part about doing these paintings. You can Yours is going to look a certain way versus mine versus Dan Mintz and Airy Fairy Faye and all the girls, Archery Girl, the Cosmic Lighthouse, all the girls in the Discord group. Hypnotic Beauty, London, if it did, I mean, if London tried it and you tried it and I tried it, we'd all do differently, right? That's just how it goes. That's painting. We're all going to come out a little bit different. So, that's a really cool painting, you guys. I really like that one. Now, remember, if the painting gets purchased during the show, the buyer gets to add their family somewhere, either in the portal or outside. I can't decide which one I want to do. So wherever I'm not, you get to add your family in there and be in the same painting with Paint With Josh for eternity. Just eternity up there. So, if that's something that interests you and you want to purchase this painting, you can get it if you go to paintwithjosh.etsy.com and search for number 976. And then my phone will go ching when someone purchases it. And that way, everyone can hear and then celebrate with you. You want to celebrate your purchase. Not everybody can get a Paint With Josh original, that's for sure. And that is for sure. There are way too many people trying to get it so if you want it you better head over there now head over there now there we go bing bang boom so remember guys start coming up with a name for this painting as well because we're gonna need your help to name it, especially if it doesn't get purchased. If it doesn't get purchased and I have to come up with a name, then I get very stressed out. It's a lot of pressure. It's 
So if I could have your guys' help in naming the painting, then my life will be much easier. Right? And it also helps if you purchase the painting, you get to name it, and you get to have your birds in the painting with Josh forever. Wicked cool, if you ask me. Just if you ask me, that's all. I mean, I'm kind of biased. They are my paintings and stuff, but pretty neat. All right, so London, let me ask you if you're still here with the crappy candle. The crappy candles, where should the family fly in this one? Where should the family fly? Should we be inside the portal? Should we be out in the seascape? You let me know, London. Oh, let you in. Sorry. Didn't know you were up in the box. Good evening, everybody. Hello. Hello. Um, I, uh, I would like to be by the pirate ship. Okay. We'll fly us over the pirate ship. Okay. Let's see. And then, like I Hello, said, everybody. The, the painting gets purchased, and the buyer, your family, will get to fly through the sky over there and be in a painting with us forever. And like I normally do every time that I come up here, if you're interested in this painting, you can head over to paintwithjosh.etsy.com and search 976. It is the only painting in his store that says TikTok painting. There is no picture of it because he just finished it and it's not even finished yet. Very true. It could still hold your family inside with us. We do have some really great names in the comments, by the way. Oh, good. I can't wait. What uh, What do we got? I mean, what what's some of your favorite ones? Uh, Pirate's Dream. I dig that. Uh, Pirate's Portal, which you know that was that was my one. That's um, Pirate's Ecstasy, Pirate's Night, Portal Me Pirate, which I kind of like from Sally. That's very cool. Are ye portals? <laughs> Are you driving me nuts? <laughs> oh man! Uh, Carlos says, "Holy ship!" Oh yeah, that's one that that was from the very beginning of the stream, and I like that one. I like that one too. That's very funny. I don't know who said it initially. I think it was. I mean, somebody said, "Holy, you know, s word." That painting is awesome, and I was like, well, "We should call it Holy Ship." <laughs> yeah. That is good. Yeah. Davy's dream. Ooh, like Davy Jones? I'm assuming so. Unless they know someone also called Davy who happens to be a pirate. Yeah, coincidentally, they're on a ghost ship. So Davy's no longer with us. Yeah. <laughs> he, he he's are uh, scary. He's busy ferrying souls to the other side. Oh, uh, how much is this one currently in your Etsy store, Joshua? Okay, let me look real quick. I think it's like two... The girls would know. They would have been looking. Uh, two, two, 233.40. Yeah. And since I'm feeling uh, nice and charitable... Don't, don't feel anything. No. Every, every time you do, every time you do, it sells right as that sentence falls out your mouth. <laughs> So, it, nope, he doesn't feel anything. He's cold and numb. Well, you could get the painting for 230 right? And then if you wanted it framed, that's going to be 260 So it's an extra $30 to get it with the black frame. Okay, there we go. So, Will this live stream be available on the YouTube? Uh, I can always <laughs> download them. Actually, I should. I should probably download this one, and I'll use it for next week's next week. So it'll come out next Wednesday. Yeah. Okay. There we go, guys. Next Wednesday, paint with Josh. My sword to open up the frame. That's a serious. That's a serious ballot knife. I Hook's, so. Hook's way home is pretty good. I like that one. I like that one. Okay, so it's either Pirates Dream, Holy Ship, <laughs> or uh, what was that last one you just said? Hook's way home. Hook's Way Home. I like that, too. And I like Davy's Dream with the uh, Davy Jones. Now we've got Hook. What about Pan? What about Pan and Wendy, guys? Pan and Wendy. Oh. Jules V says no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys, I 
we need to uh, shiver me timbers. What about shiver me portals? <laughs> that's, that's awesome. Okay, pin whoever said shiver me timbers, and then we'll split it between you and him. Just have okay. a glove. Shiver me timbers. I don't know. Are you are you going golfing? It looks like a golf glove all of a sudden. <laughs> Just trying to give away uh, half of my thumbprint. Just half. Jackie, Jackie Wilson said shiver me timbers, but I'm unable to pin it because I'm in the in the box. Oh, I got you. Maybe one of the other Julianna or somebody can pin it for us. Shiver me timbers, but shiver me portals way home dreams of pirates way. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. How long goodness. can we make this thing? How long? What? How long of a title can we make this thing? Right. Shiver me portals. Shiver me portals, Davy's dream down under with a blue portal seascape ghost ship, Davy's pirate Tink madness. Tinker Tinkerbell's dress. Tinkerbell's dress, yes. <laughs> I was trying to remember the names of the other kids. Was there Charles? It was like Wendy. Who were the other kids? It was Wendy. I, I don't yes. know. They flew off yeah. to Neverland. They're not here anymore. What does it matter? No one knows. This is my point. <laughs> no one knows. They were nameless children. That's what made the movie scary. Yeah, it was like Wendy and Peter, and then there was like a baby, and then there was like a, a younger boy, I guess. Yeah. Oh, Charles is. <laughs> Someone said Charles is my grandpa's name. Michael. Hey. Michael was the little boy. Michael. See, they did have names. They did have. They couldn't have been nameless children. That would have been weird. Wendy, John, and Michael. John, right? Wendy, John, and Michael. You're right. You're right. Hey, it's not me. Well, it's not, I, it's not I, me. I, I didn't. I didn't come up with it. That would be Joss Joss V, who was was not a fan of Tinkerbell's anything, but suddenly knows the children from Peter Pan. And I'm watching you, Joss V. Yeah. Shiver me portals. I like it. I like it too. So, number oh, okay. nine, oh, there's no, there's, six, there's we're no, catching up on a thousand pins very fast. There's no drum roll? I'm confused. Huh? That sounds like a phone. It was a drum roll, but it <laughs> sounded like a phone. Oh, for the, uh, for the frame? Yeah. All right. I want to let, let you know that I did not appreciate earlier on you speaking in Kraken. Oh, wait, I wasn't, I was Yeah, I wasn't here for the conversation. <laughs> So yeah, we uh we had a Kraken moment. I was thinking maybe I'll have a Kraken come out and eat the ship, but it came out really good. So there we go. The black frame always makes it so nice. It really so does. Nice. Right, I'm gonna spin you guys around real quick. Spin yous, jump scare. There's a guy in the back of my studio back there. There we go. Man, that's pretty. That is pretty. Learning so much. Thank you, Jess, for joining. I thought you were. I thought that Jess was Jess G, and I was like, "Oh, Jess G's here because she always watches." And then Jess G and Jess commented at the same time. Different Jess. Freak me out. Do you want to let you guys uh, know the answer? If Josh has thought about the answer, um, there have been several questions in the comments about what time you will be going live Monday. And I was wondering if we were starting early from Monday. So, yeah, why not? We'll switch to seven. That way, we'd, we've been talking about trying to reach another, like a different audience since the new late night, late owl people. Uh, going a little bit earlier, maybe catching some people that are on the East Coast at 10 p.m., which would be 7 p.m. here. So, London does her lives from like five to seven. And then I'll come on at seven and do like seven to nine or something or seven to eight thirty or whatever. Whoa, 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 whoa. You made it just sound like every day you do a live, I do a live. And that is whoa. inaccurate. I would run out of wax in three days if that was the case. I go live Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday. Out. Josh goes live Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Monday. <laughs> Actually, Wednesday, no, sorry, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. No so Tuesday, you're going you're gonna to take Tuesday, Wednesday off? Yep. Ha, we won, guys. We won. Ha, ha. Just until my arm feels better, and it's already feeling better. So maybe just oh, one Tuesday off. Oh, no. 
I think I think the people the people have spoken, and I think they would be okay with with more Josh for longer if Josh took time off now. True. I need to slow down a little bit. That my my arm thing it's getting better, but it gave me a scare. Like if I it's the only way I make money, and if I can't paint, then uh, I can't make any money. So yeah, I might have to come. I might have to take some extra days off, and then maybe on the weekends do like two shows a night. Uh, depending on how we feel, you know what I mean? So there's, what there's, no, there's no we, this is all you. Yeah, well, we, me and all the people that live in here, oh. those, those we's. Um, what happened to my arm was I was carrying in a bunch of stuff, like um, carrying in a bunch of canvases to the gallery and I had them all kind of spaced in between my fingers, you know what I mean? Like, cramping onto everything, trying to hold it. And um, that, over like the mile and a half it took to get to the damn <laughs> gallery from the mall parking lot. Really like, I think I, I tore them up or I, I stretched them up or strained something in here where my forearm and my elbow meet. The ones that where you can see they move like that. See what I mean? From your fingers. And it was from like cramping all these together as tightly as possible and like flexing them the whole time when I walked in. This took about, uh, we could have done it in an hour. I could have done it in 45 minutes, but we like to stretch the shows out to about 60 to 90, uh, 60 to 90. Extensors. That's what you heard, your extensors. Extensors, it sounds official. It sounds, like I, it sounds like I need to have paid more attention in anatomy is what it, I needed to do. It sounds official to me. Uh, it does, it does. You probably strained it. You're yeah, very true, anxious, artsy mom. You're very true, that's... He was doing the man thing. I don't need to make three trips to the car. I can take all of this shopping in one go and I will just hurt myself for the next couple of days. Yep. Kind of. <laughs> kind of. Yep. Yeah, he does. He needs one of those wagons, like one of those yep. red wagons. Somebody said that uh, yeah. as well. So I'm going to buy a wagon or well, a caddy. Actually, we, could get you a, we could get you a canvas caddy. We could we could go to the local high school. We could pay someone twenty dollars, and they could just carry all your stuff. A canvas oh, caddy. Yeah, that sounds cool. <laughs> that sounds cool. So <laughs> seriously caddy. though, seriously, the next time that we need to order from Uline, if we order them together, we might be able to get the free Uline wagon as the gift, and that wagon is like. I have one at work. I might just be able to ask him if I, I can steal the one from work. We don't I use spend it. like I spend like six hundred dollars a month by myself on Uline. So I will just uh I will throw the wagon in my cart for the free the next time I order. Yeah. Um yeah, I when I buy boxes, they're I buy them you know, fifty at a time and um Fifty at a time. We need to talk. We we need to talk about your cost effectiveness because it works out more cost effective to buy one hundred, given that their average shipping price is between thirty five dollars and forty two dollars. I don't need a hundred. I can't afford a hundred. I just want fifty. <laughs> mm hmm. Well, I have extra boxes. You could come over and do some patchwork quilt boxing yeah. making. Stick them all together around the painting. By the way, if anyone's wondering why I need boxes, I need boxes because I make awesome candles. The irony is in the name, but uh, you should tune in tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and watch me pour galaxy candles because that's what they are. Not, obviously not crappy. I have no. three. Well, yeah. I threw away two so far. I burned through two. I, I love them so much. Please don't, please don't tell me you threw them away. I, I burned through them. There was nothing left. It doesn't matter. You didn't throw them away, did you? No. Joshua. I can get out just... of the garbage can. They're right there. Yeah. I make everything that I make is re reusable. Oh, you well, can I'll bring them over and you can seal it back up again. No. You empty them out and they become glasses. You can drink out of them. That's why they're not weirdly candle jar shaped. Got it. I just threw two cups away then. Yeah. Beautiful iridescent cups that would have been perfect, you know, if you have dinner with Josh or date with Josh or any of that kind of stuff. You know, we'd have like, uh, what, like a uh, pineapple Fanta on the rocks. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, you'd have pineapple. Someone else would probably have regular Fanta because pineapple Fanta is crap. But anyway, um, see, this is why we got divorced, guys, in case anyone cares. Uh, if anyone's interested in a candle, my store is open. Hashtag link in bio. I have like 30 cents. I'm launching scoopable wax melts. I have two huge charities I'm supporting right now. Proceeds go to the Trevor Project. Um, and the candles smell fantastic. And... You get to see your name right there on the Trevor Project website because the donation is made the night you buy the candle. So, Airy Fur Faye in the house. Hey, she made it. it. She made it. And guys, as of right now, I'm making all the frames the same price as the canvas. So, if you want to get a free frame, now's the time to do it with any one of them. We'll include the canvas and a frame. So, frame frames. Still driving. Get off of TikTok. Adam says that's cool. You can be cordial with your ex-wife. I can't. Well, we both run small businesses, so we cry a lot together. <laughs> How are you for money? I'm okay. How are you for money? Well, I've used the same plastic cup now and just rewashed it for three days. So it's going really well for me. How about you? Don't make that face. I just need to go to a grocery store and you know that I've have been recovering so i haven't been driving but well, seriously if though you I, take it to the grocery store then let me know I'll take it to the grocery I, store. I, I do but today it was more important that we got our daughter's halloween costume dude she looks super cute too she does she does and she picked like <laughs> it's so funny because i'm like oh geez. like i'm trying to pick things that sh i think she would like and everything <laughs> yeah. i think is incorrect. you're like do you want to be an m m she's like dad i'm 11 shut up <laughs> No, it was like there was a, she said as we were walking in, she goes, I want to be Chucky or like Harley Quinn. So I'm like, okay, well, look, here's like a Harlequin where they came up with Harley Quinn's name. It's sort of the same, but it's different. Here's this. I'm like, oh, this one looks like an older kid, like, you know, trying to be cool. Like, maybe this one. She's like, no, dad. She's okay. like, no, dad. I want a shirt that says daddy's little monster and I want cut hair written across my throat. I I have no idea what she likes, what she thinks is cool. I obviously don't think it's cool anymore. I'm just... <laughs> no, she went to school the other day, and I was like, do you trade those bracelets for, like, money? Or I was like, why do you have so many bracelets? I was like, obviously, I have no idea what's cool because, yeah. I, mm, yeah. Yeah, we're not cool anymore, Mom. That's yeah. I'm, I'm not cool either. You'd think, you'd cool. think that right. she'd be like, my dad's an online influencer and my mommy makes crappy candles. Uh, but she's not. She's like, oh, who are those people picking me up again? Right. Oh, dad, turn it down. Oh, stop trying to be funny, dad. You're embarrassing me with your 1.5 million followers, daddy. Right. It's great. Kids well, are, kids are kids. Kids. There's these kids that I go to see, at, like when I go to pick her up, there's these two kids that are always there in the same exact spot and they're like, slap boxing or something but it looks like they're doing like kung fu or like um uh like dragon ball z you know whatever because i didn't watch dragon ball z growing up but did you say slap boxing that's what bailey says they're doing but it, it looks like they're doing like choreographed yeah choreographed that's called capoeira choreographed dance Chor no choreographed choreographed fighting is, is you know that what like I mean? Is that and like so a rand you I, I pull up and I shut up. I pull up and I uh, <laughs> and I crank up Kung Fu Fighting by Carl Douglas, I think it is. And everybody was Kung Fu Fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Bailey comes running over like Dad. Well, yeah, because ah. they weren't Kung Fu Fighting. They were Capoeira Wing. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's Capoeira for people who. Don't know. When, when I go to a rave, that's why. Oh yeah, that's what you're that's what you're doing. Josh doesn't attend. Hey, the moderate Democrats in the house. Um, yeah, Josh doesn't attend raves either. It, koala. I don't know what it is with you and platypuses tonight, but if I see the word platypus one more time, platypus. you're lucky. You're lucky you've remained unmuted <laughs> in our Discord mod group. That's it. That's all we've talked about. Is platypus? the person talking about a platypus? What's if with I the platypuses? Paint, if I knew how to paint one, maybe I would. <laughs> I mean, realistically, if you were going to paint an animal, a platypus is going to be the easiest one, right? It's a blob 
four small lines, one long line coming off the front and one long line coming out the back. I mean, if we're gonna, we're gonna paint thinking, animals. I think to... I'm thinking about a manatee. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, oh. Time's over. Oh. Time is up. Did anyone else realize that that loud noise that happened October 4th was obviously generated by a man because it went off, it, it came two minutes before we were prepared for it? Loud noise. You didn't hear it? There was a nationwide alert that went off October 4th. Oh, yeah, I did. It came through to my phone. Yeah, they said that if you see Jackie got the joke. You didn't get the joke. Jackie got the joke. I never did the joke. Um, uh, Jordan also got the joke. Oh, more people got the joke. Archery is now condoning me. Sally, I'm sorry. It, it's funny though. Um, but funny yes, I don't get it. Yeah, but it I was didn't. obviously it was obviously made by a man because it came two minutes before we were ready. <laughs> seems like a problem uh, for some men. Okay. It's I'm just saying, two minutes, bro. Two minutes, Someone... bro. Trust me, bro. Hey, um, you could do a lot yeah. in two minutes. You could do a lot in two minutes. Yeah, over his head, Sally. You're 100 percent correct. Um, for those that second. the for those that were naming portions of a ship while Josh was painting, Josh is a painter, not a sailor. Um, True. so um, starboard. Go all night. What's what's the other side of the ship? Starboard and. Uh, um, shut up! I know this. Port, port side. Ah. The leeward and the windward side, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not an African sailor. I don't know what they mean. Yeah, so. port side, airy fairy, fainos. Uh, well, I, was, hey, I don't have a Oh, do you guys want to see, just real quick, do you want to see the Stranger Things painting that we did? I can go grab it out the hallway right here. Yeah, you go grab it. I'll tell them about the classes that are happening in Knoxville. Okay. Um, so if you are interested in taking a Josh Paint class, he is teaching within the 19th to the 23rd of August. That is uh, not this week coming, the next week coming in Knoxville, Tennessee at the Happy Trees Studio. You can purchase tickets over at their website um, and you can find all the information on Josh's website, paintwithjosh.com. And there's still tickets available. So if you want to be in the same room, you can attend those classes if you do not want to be in the same room as Josh, but you do want to wonder what Josh smells like. You can head over to my website and get a candle called Smell with Josh, and that's what it smells like. It smells like paint thinner and creativity. Yeah. No, next week, not this week, next week, 19th, 23rd of October. Did I say August? Yeah, October. October. I know what month it is. It's my birthday this month. Whoop, whoop. Stranger things. <laughs> yeah. See, Josh smells like paint thinner creativity and a dash of Dr. Pepper. Yeah, a little bit. I, I apologize. Um, it's October. I know it's October. <laughs> you say August. Um, I, I, I guess I did. Uh, Sally would like to know if you could paint tail fins of... Well, wouldn't it be? Yeah, it would be their tail. No, it wouldn't be their tail fins. It'd be their, their dorsal fins, wouldn't it? On whales no. and sharks for your ocean paintings, because that would be super cute. Uh, I, I mean, yeah, I guess I could paint a dorsal fin of a shark or something sticking out of the water at a distance. You know what I mean? That wouldn't. Yeah. Imagine that would be too hard to do, trying to. Here comes a scary triangle. A scary what? A scary triangle. Yeah. No, I'm not doing it for this painting. I'm not going to try it on one that I absolutely love. Like yes, Sally said in the future. I wasn't talking about right now, but I'm oh. saying that's what it is. It's just, just a triangle. I thought you were just chanting, do it, do it. No, I was making the jaws sound. Oh. Sounds like, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. I, I thought that would have been better than Baby shark. Do, 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 do. Yeah, see? That's why I made the Jaws sound, because I didn't want to sing the Baby Shark song. <laughs> Even so, it was like, it did sound like, do it. No, it was me. <laughs> no! <laughs> no Baby Shark songs. Um, but yeah, if you like this kind of banter, guys, tomorrow night, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, you can tune in to me. 
you can then come over here to 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, so you have, like, a little bit of time to, like, get some drinks and some snacks before tuning in for the relaxation. By the way, I really like the pan music in the background. I'm really digging that. My music? Yeah, I really like it. Hm, it's from... Look, I'll show you the... Uh, we use Amazon Music, and it's, like, Andes, Spirits, Peruvian Flutes... It's freaking awesome. It's like super soothing. Yeah, I know. You're lucky I'm awake. You're lucky I'm awake because the last time oh, I fell asleep with your life. And then I woke up to people yelling. Because I fell asleep with a live, with your live on. Oh. And then because I'd fallen asleep and your life had ended, I woke up to people screaming about politics. And I was like, I don't want to be on that side of TikTok. That's funny. What happened to the peaceful painting TikTok? That's where I want to be. Hmm. Uh, if you guys want to see Josh do his MPC impression, start sending gifts immediately. Oh God! <laughs> no, I went on. Uh, I went on another dude. Um, I saw this guy. Like, it was just a dude, um, and he's sitting Rose. there. Right, he's just, for the dead homies. He's like, he's sitting there like this, right? Just like looking at the camera. You can hear like his mom or someone in the background, like making <laughs> dinner. You can just hear like. <laughs> Hot clangs and people going, ah, rah, 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 rah. and he's just like, "Thanks for tapping the screen." I'm like, I went in the thing and I was like, I can't even remember what I said. I was like, like, I go, dude, we can literally hear your mom like making dinner in the back. Like it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't work when you do that. <laughs> and he wasn't getting any gifts. There was a like, hundred people. Watch. I felt so good. Like not to be mean or anything, but when there's you know four thousand people watching some girl going. Thanks for the corn, bitch. Like, I can't, I can't stand <laughs> it. I can't. This is all I do. Every I don't understand how there's that many people that are so bored that they're watching this Every girl time. Go, Thanks for the rose. It makes me want to swear so bad. <laughs> oh. Oh, Thanks I missed the it. I missed it. I was so close. I didn't know it was coming. I missed it. Stand right there. Do nothing. Please send gifts that will put them on Josh's face so I can screenshot them. Please. Stand there. Do nothing. No, keep looking at the camera. No, they're not coming. <laughs> That's great. It's the greatest gift ever. I love it. See, hey. this is where you. This is where you go. Elephants. So smart. Oh. Yeah. Oh, so smart. That's what you're supposed to say. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't have like a. Yeah. I don't have like the. the no, they print like, out they go, of what you say. <laughs> Cat paw. Meow. Meow. Scratch me. Like. <laughs> is this what they say? <laughs> what people laugh at, like, for the or, dead homies. Or, Cause that's what like I, I I when I'm watching it I'm <laughs> waiting to see what they're gonna say when something else comes up like ooh fucking spicy like <laughs> you said that the exact time Sato sent a chili pepper Susie's here guys um Susie ooh, George is doing his spicy of like, NPCs he's having a whale of a time and it appears at the end of every live there are about two hundred people that love it because they're here for it. And they want you to be like, mmm, butter my corn. Mmm, butter my yeah. corn. Ooh, extra butter, bitch. <laughs> Fire. Ouch. <laughs> Ow, burn my nipples. I don't like. <laughs> what are you supposed to say? <laughs> I don't know. They come up with all the stuff. I, I yeah. really don't know. Don't touch the right fire. Now. Ow. Ow. The corn is my favorite. It was like, yeah. extra butter, bitch. <laughs> Mine would be. Cat horse, scratch me. Scratch me. Ow! <laughs> it's the panther. It's the panther ones I like. The panther ones that I like. They like scratch the screen. <laughs> so, there we go. Look, look. Panther Ow, rawr, scratch me. Roses for the dead homies. Roses for the dead homies. Roses for the so dead homies. Dumb. I, I, I go in it. there and I I know I think I commented on the one. I said I put so effing dumb and then just commented it. And because he only had like 109 people in his room. It just sat there as the bottom comment. Tiny dinosaur. Like, 
Rawr! Thanks for the baby T-Rex. Chili pepper, so spicy. Little pink shoes. Little pink shoes. Watch me. Thanks walk. for the heels, bitch. I'm going to the club. <laughs> Lightning. <laughs> it's electrifying. Mm, thanks for the rose. So sp oh, I did the I did them backwards. I sniffed the spicy. Just... <laughs> right. Oh, it's spicy! Oh. Num num num. <laughs> Roses for the dead homies. I sniff the pepper. The dead ah. homies. <laughs> Burn my no my nostril has. Yeah. Burn my nostril has. Oh, that hurts coming out the backside. <laughs> turkey, Ooh, turkey, spicy on turkey, the way turkey. Out. It's electrifying. <laughs> Mine would just be my lightning noise. It's like, shh. Ooh, so spicy. Ooh, so spicy. Ooh, so spicy. spicy. <laughs> Talk of the turkey. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Oh, my, my head hurts from doing that. Like, all the whipping. So freaking like I'm having con in interior concusts. <laughs> really? Sorry, guys. Are you ready for the show? Yeah. Oh, dear. Gang, 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 gang. Why is this fun? <laughs> no idea, Susan. I'm just making fun of those other idiots. It's, it's, uh, I gotta be honest though, like, it does, it, it does give me the release of dopamine that I am needing in my life when well, we jump in it. Oh, hot dog. Nom, yeah. nom, nom. Ooh, hot dog. Extra mustard, bitch. Like, <laughs> roses for the dead homies. The, uh, but the funny part is, I said this last night, like this is is now going to be a time. Like people are going to go, go in the future and go, remember when people used to be like, mm, butter, extra butter, you know, like that. it's now a thing. In the <laughs> Anna with the corn, Anna with the corn, Anna with the corn. Extra butter, bitch. <laughs> Uh, Anna with the corn. Anna with the corn. Anna with the corn. Yeah, that, it's, would, it's, that would be my thing too. Like I couldn't just keep saying the same thing over and over again. Like, mm, thanks for the look, corn. Look, mm, thanks for look, the corn. Mm, look, welcome the, to I earth. Do. Welcome to earth. That, that you'd have to go through. Like I would need to print out every gift that you could possibly get. And I would have to think of something to say for every single one. Like, there's got to be some. Then they have it on a long list. Right. Like I'd be like, shit, shit, lightning. What was I supposed to say? Oh, chili pepper, so spicy. Sniff the chili pepper, burn my nostril yeah. head. <laughs> chili pepper! <laughs> <laughs> Big love, little man. Big love, <laughs> little man. Oh my God, 30 chili peppers. <laughs> I feel my ass is going to hurt on the way out, guys. <laughs> Shit in flames. Thank you for joining the NPC live. There will be no live tomorrow due to the fact I will be pooping due to the amount of spicy chilies yeah. I've received during this live. Ooh, like, fire. And NPC Josh on the toilet, like, ah! <laughs> oh, goodness. Flames. Mm. That's a good time. It's it's honestly a good fun, a good time. Um, if you are interested in purchasing this painting because it is still for sale, let's let's not ignore the reason that we're here. You can find and this painting at paint with, paintwithjosh.etsy.com, and you can purchase this to stick on your wall. If you get it within the next five minutes, Josh will add your family as birds. If you do not get it within the next five minutes, you get no birds. Um, frame included in the price. It's up there right now in the Etsy store. Only one up there that says TikTok. See, now you're not doing NPC. People are leaving. They're like, oh, he's trying to get money. But you can ask for money and ask yeah. for roses and people stay all day. That's obviously the thing. Grand Theft Auto. Easy. Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> <laughs> Subtle with the roses. Roses for the dead homies. Can't. Fire. Ouch. Lightning. It's a Ouch, my nipple. nipple. I don't know why it's TikTok, fine. TikTok. Chill peppers. Chill peppers. Earth. Earth. I can't um, do it anymore. I can't. 
I, I only to make fun of those people. Like they don't I have could, a single skill in life. I all could do it is. all night, providing I didn't have to show my face. <laughs> like if I could just put the phone down and you could stare at the ceiling, send gifts, and I could do my voice. But the second I looked at the camera, I would laugh. Yeah. Like I can't keep a straight face and do it. So the only way to do it would be just to sit here and close my eyes. That's the only way I could humanly do it. I can't do it more than like two times. Like, you know, I mean, if I get four chili peppers, I'm screwed because I'm only going to say it once. I think it's so dumb that I can't say it again and again and again and again. Oh, chili pepper. Oh, chili pepper. Gang, gang. Oh, chili gang, pepper. Gang. Extra toilet paper because my ass is going to burn. <laughs> Extra Taco Bell. Extra Ooh, send me some baby wipes for that fire. <laughs> Baby wipes, so soothing. Baby wipes, so soothing. Like, mm, preparation H. Thank you. <laughs> okay, well, I've received the dopamine that I needed and the medication that I took no longer works. <laughs> it's like I'm immediately sober. This is fantastic. Ew, preparation uh, H. Thank you. Mm, Pepto Bismol. So good look, for my belly. Look, look hanging oh, lights. House lights. So <laughs> bright in my eyes. Ah! <laughs> what are you supposed Roses to say? For the dead homies. Roses for the dead homies. <laughs> He's my favorite. If you have no idea where that's from, you need to go and search his video. He changed his name to like Ramen916, but his name used to be Bloodshot. And that's, he does the prison NPC. And whenever I'm in a bad mood, I watch him with hard ramen in between a hair straightener. And he goes, gang, 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 gang. And then he's like, strong convict, strong okay. convict. And it just, that's where the roses for the dead homies things comes from. And he just, oh, he just makes me cry with laughter. It's hysterical. Oh, gang, 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 gang. Strong convict, strong convict. Pretty painting, pretty painting. Is there yeah. a painting gift? Can I send my own gifts while I'm in here? Oh, I sure can. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. Welcome to Earth. Welcome to Earth. Hey. Welcome to Earth. I don't even know what to say for that one. <laughs> no, no. You're like, that's a Photoshop like, made up photo by NASA. Oh, we come <laughs> in peace. We come in peace. We come in peace. <laughs> no, that would be for the alien one. Yeah, but we're coming to Earth. I know, but there's an alien one. This one, look. I'm blue, da ba -de -da -ba -da 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 oh, my asshole. 25 spicy peppers. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> see, look, I'm blue. He's like a little alien. Oh, I see it. That's like, mm -ss, mm -ss. he's like a little alien DJ. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Rick, thank you, Robert, for the, uh, uh, what did I say? Hey, Shit, I've already hey, forgotten what I said about hey, look, Ooh, I'm a gummy bear. Spicy gummy bear. So extra hot. <laughs> it might not be. It might be strawberry. It could be a strawberry gummy bear. Cherry, man. Cherry gummy now, bear. God damn, now I got to go get, like, I tried to eat early so I wouldn't like eat late and feel like crap. You know what I mean? I ate oh, at three o'clock. Finger hearts. Finger oh. hearts. Lots of love. Finger hearts. Oh. Yeah. That was money. It was not the finger hearts thing. Stop it's it. My finger heart. What are you <laughs> doing? I'm not convenient storing you any Laffy Taffy. Oh, it's a high bear. High bear. No, I have tons bear. of Laffy Taffies. High bear. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. I look at myself. To at the spicy. That's why I have to look away. I can't even look yeah, at you that's, and make eye right, contact. That's, that's what I was trying to say. Like I could do this, but I couldn't look at my phone and do it at the same time. Because you see how silly you are. Right. Especially gang, if you're like gang gang. Fuck, like just, get, <laughs> just go on a walk. Just like <laughs> more people would tune in to you going on a walk than they would be pretending to walk in your living room. You. <laughs> if you did your own, people would be like, "I must hang out." It is a. It, it is. A, it is a good time. We need to get a treadmill <laughs> so I can stick a treadmill here in the studio, and then I can just walk on the treadmill. No, we just walk, and then I'll actually be getting some exercise while doing. Roses the for the dead homies. Roses <laughs> for the dead homies. Roses for the dead homies. Roses for the dead ones? homies. The yeah. robot. Yeah, uh, Anna's asking about Angel Cyborg. She's the one, she goes, ah, ah, the disrespect. 
Hey, donuts, tasty donuts. Mm, donuts. Mm, donuts. Photoshop photo by NASA. TikTok music. He sent a picture of us. I don't know. Yang gang. Yang gang. Sweet melon. Hey, yum. Tennis ball. Whatever that was. It, it's a melon. It was a tennis ball. <laughs> it's just the fact London knows their names. <laughs> Ah, Angel Cyborg, Cyborg is like the OG of the robot NPC. Pink shoes for the club. Pink shoes for the club. Do cracking NPC. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you do last night? Uh, well, I spent my Friday night watching this guy who can paint really good, but for like the last hour of his show. <laughs> He was just making fun of people who do NPCs. And him and his ex-wife seem to get along like a house on fire. And uh, they do this NPC thing that was in forwards. It's very funny. Did you just go to spit your Dr. Pepper out? Why would I spit it out? Because you were going to laugh. And no, you would have been able to. Oh, okay. Did I just drink it all? <laughs> you did. Boy. Oh, don't throw them away. If you wash them out, you can reuse them. That's what I've been doing for three days. <laughs> Please buy candles. Okay. I love you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. I go live tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I make awesome candles. There is a scent for everybody. And I support two charities. New charity launching October 10th for the Miss Foundation. For anyone that you know that is suffering from pregnancy loss or the loss of a child, super serious proceeds go towards supporting that foundation as well as the one right now that i'm doing to support the trevor foundation three super wonderful dope, cents. By the way, super dope and uh yeah we're just trying to do good things uh scoopable wax melts being released in my store october 10th as well you get like 12 ounces of wax melts it's pretty ridiculous and a really wow. really really cute stainless steel spoon that you can put in your drawer once you're finished anyway thank you hey, i'm what, london Hit what me do up. i have what do I have in my store besides paintings and stuff? Oh, if you're interested in apparel by Paint With Josh, you can head over to paintwithjosh.etsy.com where you can find yourself leggings, hats, shirts, as well as poster prints, original canvases, and hashtag link in bio for merch. What, what? Uh, the leggings are super comfortable. He also sells backpacks. And if you are living in a colder part of the country or anywhere in the world, you can also purchase yourself a Paint With Josh hoodie. You will never get a hoodie like mine that says Paint With Josh. You watch my ex-husband on TikTok. You will never get that hoodie. Doesn't even matter if you marry him. There will never be a second one. If your head is cold, you can get the Paint With Josh Make A Mess beanie now appearing in a Etsy store near you. Please Multiple go to colors, by the way. Multiple colors. Everything comes in multiple colors. We're a very colorful family. Guten Morgan. This is awesome. I don't it know where you're on so I can wear this. It is cold. It's like 60 degrees. Airy Fairy Face says, get the hoodie. She has one. My the hoodie, hoodie is downstairs. The hoodie is fire. Here. The hoodie is fire. Ow, fire. Ow, normally, fire. Normally I wear this. You can also get your own Paint with Josh paint pressure practice shirt. And you can also get the I Painted with Josh in Las Vegas shirt as well. Where on your page do I find that painting? If you go to paintwithjosh.etsy.com and you type in that little search bar, TikTok, it will come up. It is painting 976. That is correct. So watch, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. We're going to come over here. Go like this, you shop. When you pull up my shop, it looks just like this, right? And then we're going to type into the search bar 976 or the word TikTok, either one. 976, press go. Oh. There it is right there. Oh, get out of there. Okay, there he is, TikTok live show. So what's the it, price yeah. say? Oh, it says 389, but look, when you click on it, it's actually on it's sale. 233.40. I don't know what that accent was, by the way. <laughs> okay, get out of the shop, because if someone buys it, why make a noise? Oh, I got I have my iPad over here, too. Everything. You're like, ching, ching, bing. It's everything. Ching, 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 bing. When does the blue, black, crimson shirts arrive? Oh, there's an idea right there. 
Yep, I'm sure. I'm sure people are dying for a shirt that says "I want Josh's BBC." <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That was funny. My bad. Uh, yeah, I don't. I my country accent was appalling. Everybody laughed. Yeah, what about the DIC shirts? Yeah, Did now differences in color. color. I've had those shirts for a long time. Look at this. I'll show you. Yeah, Autry girl says London, London after dark. <laughs> She's onto something there. Look, differences in color. That's Josh's like DIC it. taking over the art world. <laughs> Oh, by the way, if you enjoy my voice, you also get a whole ton of my voice when you purchase one of my candles, because not only is my voice on the candle itself, but I'm also all over the added bits. Maybe I should, uh, you know what I should do? I should make you a thank you card, Josh, that you could put in the box where I just speak really fast. Okay. <laughs> it's got black and gray in as well. <laughs> Black and yellow what, are you, in the bag. what are you doing? Setting up merch in, in the spare bedroom? What are you doing? I got yes. my merch station. Sato, uh, Josh does have a solid red hat. Where's your red hat, Josh? Get your red hat. Get your red hat. Solid red. Red on red on red on red on red. He wears it like every other day. You're 100% correct, Sasha. Now, since I got the black and white one, I've been wearing this one. The black and the white, right? We do have white on white. There is white on white, but the black, the white on black is actually really nice. Sally, Sally said Josh should give away his used candle jars during paint classes to promote both of you. Um, Sally, I actually sell a candle called Smell with Josh that smells like Old Spice. So if you wanted to feel like you were in the studio while watching his live... <laughs> You could purchase a candle and just just watch it. Uh, the, the, if you go to my page and you look at the candles, it's a little difficult to do anything else but stare at the candle. Josh sent me a message the other day and said, I have just sat here for 45 minutes watching a candle because yeah. they're friggin' mesmerizing. I've never spent so long <laughs> at, a, at a blown out candle before. You're like, oh, I'll just blow this out real quick and go to bed. And then you're like, oh, look at it. Feel, by the way, too. Downstairs, it's too far away to go get. It's a nice hat. Anyway, guys, again, thank you very much. I look forward to seeing many of you over there tomorrow. If I had 200 people show up in my life, I would probably cry. Um, trust me, if you're a fan of candles, I should be the only place you're buying from, to be honest, because there's no paraffin and you can't on a live grandma with the smell of my candles. Um, have a wonderful night. Josh, thank you for poking my box. I'm going to go now. Have a wonderful night. Good night. Thank you, London, for being here with the crappy candles. <clears throat> She's going to be door dashing me some food, hopefully, uh, if you guys go buy candles. So head over, buy her candles. That way she can feed me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But do, seriously, uh, go. <laughs> No, the F I am not, she said. But London, Josh is like withering away. I can't just be so skinny for all the ladies. I'm going to be a bag of bones up here. Did it work? Did it work? I don't think it worked, guys. I don't think it worked. Dang, let's try harder next time. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, what London said, everything she said is 100% true. I've never had, she's back in the box. Uh, London is the nicest, sweetest, most like self, non-self-loving, loving everyone else this person I've ever seen. Hello, she's back. <laughs> she's the most selfish person I've ever met in my life. Um, Opposite. So, me. question, question for you. Yeah. Are you planning on going to eat with another human being? Because if the answer is no, then I will door dash you food. But if yeah. you plan on leaving the house. No, then no, don't. I'm not door dashing you anything. Um, yeah, no. No? No, I'm just gonna be here. I don't plan on leaving the house. Oh, alone? What? Are you gonna be home alone? I, I mean the ghosts that are here? I don't know. 
Gus, you're going to flip on. You and Big Scary Bob in the corner. Yeah, is that light? St- yeah, me and Bob are chilling. Bob will take his chocolate shake. <laughs> no, I don't. Okay, I the, the, fries, the fries and the chocolate shaker for Bob. Yeah, definitely. I shouldn't eat anything, though. Honestly, I shouldn't. Okay. Well, I mean, you did have McDonald's once today. They should sponsor you. They should. Because they've started that new thing, you know, if you go through their drive through they give you, they've, they're wearing shirts and it says it on the bag, McDonald's as seen on, and then it lists a bunch of movies. Yeah. And right. every time I see that bag, I'm like, I never honestly thought McDonald's, I thought McDonald's was like toilet paper. Like you, you don't need to advertise it. They're everywhere. Yeah. I mean, everywhere. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? By the way, in case you haven't seen the commercial, Charmin now, or Charmin depending on how you say it. Now, when you tear their paper, it, it gives this little ripply effect rather than a straight line. So I'm wondering how that would increase the benefits of toilet use with new, easy pull apart toilet paper. Like I literally, they, they must be bored. They must be bored. <laughs> They're like, we've made toilet paper now for 40 years. We've got to come up with something different. I know rather than tear a straight line, we'll make it so that it's curvy. To which my daughter said, why are the bears in the commercial only using one piece of toilet paper? What a great question. Yeah, exactly. Why don't they just wipe their butts on the ground? Uh (laughs) Uh-oh. Sally Sally just asked Airy Fairy Faye a great question. What? Um, Did you just lose your future husband? To McDonald's? (laughs) (laughs) To McDonald's? You, you will never win against those fries and the American plastic cheese. You will never win. You will never win. Is that what, what I'm talking about? I don't know. Would you like some food? Kind of, yeah. I know it's, it, I'd be like a real fat ass if I ate, you know, fast food again. But yes, I'm hungry. <laughs> okay. Okay, so... If you think, let's see, if if you think I should DoorDash Josh some McDonald's, what well, you don't even jump up and down like that at Christmas. What is that about? If a double cheeseburger and some fries makes you jump up and down like that, I could have saved myself a ton of money over the years. Uh, if you think that Josh deserves some McDonald's, put a put a cheeseburger in the in the comment section. I'm looking for 1,300 cheeseburgers. If I do not get that, then Josh gets no food. We're already in nine. Nine? Ten. Oh, there we go. 11, okay, come 12, on, guys. 13, 14, 15. Come on, guys. 16. Cheeseburgers. 17, hey, so 18, 19, this year, Alex's mom. We were, we were talking about you the other day in Discord, wondering where you guys have been recently. We there we go. See? See now they now they're getting it. This is what I want. I want blocks of cheeseburgers. Come on, guys, you can do it. Cheeseburger icon as many times as you can, and then hit it. Yeah. Thank you, Droid Lopez. Appreciate that. Come here and check it out. Oh, and some fries. People are wanting for the fries too, Josh. And shakes. Did they make a shake emoji? They do make a shake emoji, but now you're asking too much. Oh, shake is the best part. Oh, and we got bowls of tacos. Bowls of tacos? Yeah, that's what they look like to me. I don't know. Maybe I need a eye test. Yep, I think we're there, guys. I think they easily made it to 1,300. Oh, my God. That's a lot of cheeseburgers. It is. Yeah, they easily made it. Gina with the cheeseburger, fried 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 cheeseburger, fried. Yeah, oh, I thought you said fried that. cheeseburger. I was like, they make a fried cheeseburger? How can you tell the difference between a regular cheeseburger and the fried one if they're this, this small? If they're well, one's, co- one's covered in batter, silly. <laughs> but it's an emoji. <laughs> cheeseburger, fried cheeseburger, fried cheeseburger, fry. Droid Lopez with the cheeseburger, 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 fry, 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 fry. Milkshake, 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 milkshake. <laughs> My milkshake does not bring any boys to the yard. Okay, I'm gonna go DoorDash you some food. Um, oh, I, bet, I, I better get a huge thank you, and I better get a share the crap out of my life tomorrow. Thank you.
How would you say no to that face? <laughs> All right. McDonald's is one of twenty. Ew. I know. I'm bad. I'm bad. Cheeseburger, 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 fried cheeseburger, fried cheeseburger. See, Georgie. Fried cheeseburger, fried cheeseburger, fried cheeseburger, fried cheeseburger, fried cheeseburger, fried cheeseburger, fried. Before you go, London, uh, Sato has a question, I think. Sato, it's not me that go goes, it's paint with Josh before you go go. <laughs> You're about to go go, though. I'm so punny. London was a go go dancer at one point. Oh my goodness. We're not going to do this, Josh. Did you guys I'm know? old now. I got, I got hip pain now. <laughs> Yeah. What do you need, Sato? Did you know that Will Smith kicked London in the head during a music video? <laughs> that is, wow. Okay, that, that's not the whole story. That's the abbreviated story, but that's not the whole story. <laughs> but I did I did wake up to Will Smith going, are you okay? I think out of fear of being sued. <laughs> but, and I guarantee if anyone in the comments right now was to bump into him and be like, do you remember when that girl was knocked unconscious on the scene of your music video? He'd be like, I do actually. <laughs> As we took his shoes and we took his socks, it was it was a good time. Anyway, that's that's why I don't show my face on camera. Did you know that? What's up with that? Do did you know what? What's up with what? Sato, full sentences. Full Do you sentences. like to showcase your candles and show like each of them or what? Do I like to showcase them? Well, when you when you watch my lives, I generally pour live on screen. So if you purchase a candle and it comes, my order comes in and let's say you ordered a small with Josh candle, I would say, Hey, what color do you want? And then you would say, I, I don't know, blue. And then I would make the candle right there on the live. And then, you know, once it's solid, it would go in a box and show up at your house. <sighs> Burning my lavender candle today. Hmm. I'm not sure why not. What I'm burning my paint with Josh candle. Gina, I'm just about to. Oh, like pop. I don't, I don't, I've never seen that gift before. Uh, Gina, I'm just about to release on October 10th. I'm just about to release candles in support. Uh, proceeds go to the Miss Foundation. And um, they are healing, remembering and relaxing and the relaxing one is lavender and white sage the josh then, candle should be called josh in a jar what are you pointing at i'm pointing at the at the at my own nipple but i was pointing at the at the comment ah mm. yes I'm yeah, so i need a i need a refill on candles by the way oh you do yeah yeah Okay. Well, in order to do that, you'd have to either buy through my site, which is thecrappycandles.etsy.com, or be extra nice to me and come to my house. Maybe one of the fans could buy me one. I don't know. That's, get out of here. You've saying. already given them enough stuff to buy. They're not going to buy you candles and then... Did I hang... Let's not talk, talk about the clock. Hey, don't look at that comment down there. Yeah. Did you hang up the clock? Harry fairy phase on my side. Well, because why? Who runs the world? Girls. Who around the world? Girls. Who around the world? Girls. <laughs> yeah, just go to London. The Irish sirens got it on. She's got the right idea. Yeah. Anyway, have an absolutely one. <laughs> yeah, he did just say I'm not coming over. He's not. He's not interested in hanging my clock. Harry oh, said candles. she said hang the clock in exchange for candles. Yeah. Right. I don't know. But anyway, have a wonderful night. I, I've, I've got to go. I've got to door dash this guy, this influencer from TikTok, some McDonald's, apparently. Over here, slaving to the patriarchy. Okay, good night. Bye. Thank you. Um, yeah, so I don't know what else to do. I'm not going to come back for another show, though. It seems like we've been, I mean, we've been up here for what? two hours two hours and 10 minutes already so um i'm gonna go downstairs i'm gonna smoke i'm probably gonna start watching stranger things again so now that i'm back hooked in it from doing my painting yesterday if you didn't see the stranger things painting yesterday this is what she looks like just phantasmic and this frame is wicked awesome too but 
Cool little shadow monster out there in the deep darkness. Look at that guy. Woo! Crazy. So, if you like Stranger Things, uh, my painting last night made me go watch it. I think Airy Fairy Faye was watching Stranger Things with me while we were in the freaking Discord. So, um, if you like Stranger Things, come over to the Discord and maybe, um, maybe that's what I might watch tonight. I don't know. I kind of got a lot of work to do, so I should, don't have time to be just watching TV uh, when I do have videos and all this stuff to edit and different things, so. That's the part about being my own boss. I'm a very lenient boss. I'm like, ah, oh, you don't have to do that work. You go do this instead. And I'm like, okay, I like my boss. He's cool. It's me, obviously. But I do have to do work sometimes. So, Sato, if you come up here to this little thing and you tap that heart that's up there that's, that says 730 and you become one of my team members, uh, you join the team or whatever it is, then you'll get the link to join the Discord group that we're all in where Airy Fairy Fay and uh, Cosmic Lighthouse and Hypnotic Beauty in London and all of us are all in the Archery Girl and Blah Panda are all over in the... Um... Oh, it's on its way. Thank you. Thank you. That was a big thank you. Oh, Jesus, I almost fell. Thank you for the food. I love you so much. Um, but yeah, everybody, you start to get to know all the little mods that you see in the comments and what they're like. And a lot of time we're over on the voice chat channel so we can video chat with each other. It's kind of cool. Kind of cool. Um, I'm super excited for my shake now. Oh. <sighs> but yeah, uh, I love you guys. Let's see. Crappy candles. Always hooking it up with the love. Love you. So, um, even after divorce, she still sends me food, guys. She's so nice. So nice. Have to click the member rewards for Discord. See, you guys know I don't. I don't, don't ask me. I've never even clicked that button. I have no idea what it even does. All I know is this one turned out fantastic, and I cannot wait to go post it to 630 thousand people over on um facebook over on facebook six hundred and thirty thousand people okay go ahead explain <laughs> discord this is the third time i'm here tonight so no one sent any gifts because i'm not mpcing for the rest of the evening but there is a heart up there next to paint with josh if you click that and send one heart right above it it'll say member rewards if you click member rewards, it'll say join the Discord. If you press join the Discord and you currently have Discord on your phone, it will say you're invited to the Paint with Josh Discord, which we spent countless hours setting up. Um, and if you're not a member, it'll ask you to join and then you can pop in and we'll all wave at you with these weird little emojis. And then you can come join us in voice chat where you don't have to turn your camera on. You don't have to reveal your identity. But it is a good time and you get heads up on when Josh is uh, going live and, you know, stuffs, photos of stuffs. And then if you want to be involved in my business, when I'm live, you can do the same thing in my live. And I actually, you know, listen to <laughs> my fans and let them make decisions about my business. I never listen to my fans. <laughs> That's a nice poster. It's huge, Josh. That's huge. No, it's humongous, but you can get big posters like this of my work, right? They're not uh, original canvases. But did you say at, Did you say them. at your work? Like I could just show up at your work and get a poster? What? You just said you can get big, big posters like this at my work. Of my work. <laughs> I know. Oh. oh. <laughs> Of my work, uh, I've turned a lot of them into posters. Some of the best ones are ginormous posters, like bigger than me. You know, there's another family in that one. Yeah. Oh, there's multiple. There's uh, there's three sets, but I think the buyer split their family of five up into two different portals. So it turned out pretty cool. London, you can technically the rest of us not so much get into the Discord, Sally. I'm confused. Irish Siren, they're coming. I see that hot. Join the team. Let's go. Yeah, you guys can keep me up till three in the morning because that's what normally happens. 
True. Oh, I can. Yes, I could show up at his job. I wouldn't, though. It's weird. I used to do that when I picked him up from work. It was very strange. We have two cars now. <laughs> and we live in houses. houses. Yeah, it'd be weird if I showed up in my Mini Cooper, like, beep, beep. <laughs> Get in. Italian job. It's obviously what I would do if I showed up in my Mini Cooper. <laughs> I'd be like, where's my Jason Stratham? Yeah. Was, that was the worst impression of myself. Yeah, that was pretty ever. Bad. Pretty see, bad. see if Jason Stratham's bought me a bottle of water. I have a clock for you to hang. Mm. I do have a clock. It's a beautiful, beautiful clock, by the way, by another small business here in Las Vegas. Make acrylic pause. Josh, say goodbye. Uh, are you leaving? I'm leaving. Yeah, I'm trying to get you oh. to leave. Oh, okay. Bye, guys. See you later. <laughs> Good night, Josh. Okay, we'll talk to you over in Discord. Okay, bye. Awesome, awesome. So you got new people in the Discord server. So, uh, yeah, we're out of here, guys. Are you still here in London? Yes, you. She's hurry here. up. They've She's... listened to you. You've talked for two hours and 15 minutes. Say love you guys. Good night. Well, that's not how I end the show. <laughs> Okay. okay. Tell them to ha tell um, them to have a good rest of their night. Make your awesome sound. Do your cool little arm thing. Then we'll go. <laughs> All right. Uh, like Levin said, I love you guys. Thank you for tuning into the show, for being tapping the screen, for commenting, for just hanging out with us while we painted and then chit chatted for a while. I love every single one of you. And until I see you guys again on the next time, take care. Have the rest of a good day. Yeah.